Oh. Hello, hello. Hello, everyone. Uh, officially, uh, British Knight. Here on, uh, Squint, uh, <laughs> on Squint cast, um, with, without Saint. That's right, it's, it's just Squint cast. No Squint cast yet. That happens in a couple days. Uh, hello. It's been about a week since I, since I've gamed live for y'all, so excuse me while I get into the saddle and not dox myself. Um, welcome everyone. People who are interested in Fallout 3, you, you out there, I, I'm looking at you. I know there's not many of you out there. I know there's many more who are interested in Fallout New Vegas. <laughs> Present company included, but we are uh, committed to this for like, I, I have no clue. Let me just double check here how many episodes deep we are. This might be the 19th one. Uh, uh, uh crack. And pizza party, that's who he is. Let's see. Yeah, this will be the 19th one. So, hello everyone, 19th, ep 19th episode of this epic let's play. Uh, let's double check, where were we? Hmm. Oh, I remember now. Okay, so this is where we were. I went back later on to just double check something that's why it said national archives um this isn't often i do this uh i'm going to need me a moment here to just uh g give me a sec just want to check on something before we jump in quick brb uh Okay, great, great stream back. Hi everyone. Um, oh, just checking my refrigerator. If it was still running. It is. Oh, I want to grab my controller, which I don't use for this game. Okay. Oh man, I have to remember all this stuff. Okay, we're max level. We have this rule now where, if I want to get a new perk, I'm gonna spend ten thousand caps on it. I think I might up that to t 20, uh, maybe 15,000. Because I'm pretty set on perks, but. I mean, we have to get rid of caps somehow. Okay. So. Wow, I really set myself up last time, like I usually do, I guess. Being out of an RPG for a week, you know, you, you need to get your legs again. Sea legs. Did I? I think I got the Nuka Cola perk right. There it is. Cool. So if I get 10 Nuka Colas, I'll get a Quantum. Fun. Okay, so we're pretty set up to, uh. Oh man, okay, so. Whew. We, we did a lot. We've done a lot of things in this game. And. A few of the things that I'd like to do would be. Visiting all the vaults and doing all the DLCs, finishing the main quest line and all that. And I have an interest in viewing a bunch of the unmarked locations in this game because there's a lot of cute little unique things that go on in the wasteland. So we're going to do that hopefully later on in this episode. Let's just start with, uh, let's just start with the main quest because we have not been doing that. Oh. Right, I forgot. I'm overpowered. Oh shit. Let's get to play around with this now. Because I got that perk that make, makes me a pyromaniac. I'm much more a stronger with the shish kebab. Root. Goodbye. I'm more vaporizing like we used to do with the uh, laser sword, but... Oh god, we're... Um, didn't even see him up there. 
We're like really maxed on a bunch of stuff right now. Ooh. That almost perfect perk is so good. Oh my gosh. Okay, masters go down in one hit with this thing. If I encounter an overlord, I'm probably gonna try a... Uh... So, so we're in the... <laughs> Sorry, I'm so distracted. If, if we're encountering an overlord, I'm gonna try do it going in vats and seeing how big of a chunk I could sneak attack him. Oh, there's a lot of fun things in here. Okay. Let's... Let's just ex explore. I was trying to scout it out to see if there are any people left before I uh, continued. So, oh boy, we get to go back to this, our old favorite reading. I was saw on the Wikipedia that there's a ton of plaques that you can read in this one. So, uh, 1862. That's not a two. 1861 Springfield uh, rifle musket. Uh, the type 1861 Springfield rifle musket was the standard weapon for the infantry, infantry, infantile, uh, soldier in the American Civil War. It was a muzzle-loaded weapon that fires a .38 caliber mine ball <laughs> using, uh, percussion caps instead of the traditional flintlock. Oh, Almost a million of these weapons were manufactured for the soldiers during the war. Damn. On loan from the Inter oh, International Ordnance Museum, these display this these cases display the various types of weapons and ammunition used by the military in past conflicts over the globe. All over the globe. Whoa. Wow. Amazing. Oh my god. <laughs> X2 X277 Viper Magnetic Rail Cannon. Okay, that seems a little uh not Museum of Technology E. By the way, that's where we are, Museum of Technology. Just want to check the door to see that. Museum of Technology. Delta 9. <laughs> Delta 9. Uh a exhibit. Planetarium, Virgo 2 exhibit, Vault Tour. Oh, did I even read this? Okay. This is the only known prototype of the X277 Viper Magnetic Rail Cannon developed by the U.S. military by West Tech. Also commonly referred to as the Rail Gun. Uh-oh. This weapon uses energy cells to propel... Oh, I thought it was the rail Railway Rifle for a sec. Hello! Hi, Jackie! Nice to see you there. It's Yaki. Get ready for a bunch of me reading, because we're in a museum and there's a lot of plaques. Uh, also commonly referred to as the, as a railgun. This, I, I know railguns, those are cool. Those magnetic guns that shoot punks of metal. This weapon uses energy cells to repel a de depleted uranium rod across a series of magnetic discharging magnets, discharging it at extremely high velocity, deemed too costly to produce on a mass scale, the project was abandoned in 2044. On loan from the International Ordnance Museum, these cases contain types of weapons and ammunition, military past conflicts all over the globe. Okay, that last part was the same as uh, that plaque. I feel like this won't end the same way. Uh, M199 assault rifle. Yeah, ending same. Perhaps the most well-recognized weapon in the modern U.S. military arsenal, the M199, earned its nickname the backtalker from the unusual report of firing uh the unusual report the firing mechanism makes huh from the unusual report the firing mechanism makes as it ejects a spent shell i guess report is like the sound it makes i don't know that word himbo hello maple hippo in the chat yay my favorite i love the hippo emote so much i don't know why he's so cute Firing the standard 5.56 millimeter round, uh, the M99, fuck, <laughs> the M199 is still the official infantry weapon of the United States Army. Yep, on loan from the Ordnance Museum. Plane. 
Frank Lloyd. No, not Frank Lloyd. <laughs> Just the Wright brothers. I got excited because Wright is in the name. Just thinking about Frankie. Robco Stealth Boy. Ooh. Oh. Yeah, the report is the bang it makes. I didn't know that. The report is the bang sound that a rifle makes. Uh, oh, cool. Stealth Boy for me. Well, like I need that. <laughs> Constantly stealthed when I need to be. I'm tempted to just leave this here. Oh, but the raccoon in me wants it. Ooh. Temptation. Slow poly object. Uh, Robco Stealth Boy 3001 description. This is a Robco Stealth Boy Model 3001 personal stealth device developed by Robert Mayflower. Silly. The Stealth Boy generates a modulating field that transmits the reflected light from one side of an object to the other, making the bearer almost invisible to the untrained eye. Oh boy. Greedy little paws. Oh, he wants to swipe. He wants to swipe. And he's gonna. He did it. He did it. Hope everyone's proud of him. He's living up to his raccoon calling. Okay, enough of that. Uh, research leads terminal. Oh boy. Uh. Oh, okay. So it's okay. This is the earliest entry. Uh, log entry. 2076 February 2nd yeah Can someone please fix the planetarium projection just system the automated system that was just installed is prone to malfunctions at least once a week we've had to interrupt the program more times than I care to remember and end up taking over and end up taking over manually I suggest we remove the system and bring back the human element so the audience can feel more engaged. B-Bell research led. I know it's lead. But if you keep that up, you're going to be eating lead. Uh, I'd like to lodge a formal <laughs> complaint regarding the firearms exhib uh Okay, exhibition. I was wondering if it was ex ex exhibit or exhibition. Uh, that's planned for the temporary display in the atrium. With the world tension <laughs> the way they are right now, the world's tension is the way they are right now, I feel it's highly inappropriate to glorify these killing devices by promoting them as, uh, as a tourist attraction. That's pretty fair. If this is some sort of patriotic gesture, then it is entirely lost upon me, and I urge you to rethink this decision. Well, we know the outcome of that after reading three plaques on weapons. Uh, you. This is just a quick rundown of the acquisitions we have been awarded for 2078. Ooh, that wouldn't come. The war happened in 2077. Uh, if any of these interest you, please stop by and see me so we can discuss it or submit a standard research request before the cutoff date. All submissions must be made on by October 2nd, 2077. So now is the time to get it, get them in. Supersonic airliner, Zach's computer prototype, the original model T-48D power armor suit, laser pistol prototype, B-Bell. Cool. Okay. Our new addition to the space flight gallery, the Virgo 2 lunar lander, is now open to the general public and ready for viewing. I want to extend a hearty thank you and job well done to the entire research and restoration team for pulling that pile of junk out of the mothballs and putting it in such fine shape. Oh my. Many sleepless nights were spent on this project, and as a small token of our thanks, you will find a substantial bonus in your next paycheck. Oh shit! Oh pog! Uh, give each other a pat on the back. You've earned it. Thank you, B-Bell. Just wanted to mention, I looked over at my, uh my stream preview and uh i remembered i have this vtuber i'm talking through i recently was gifted a uh a new png tuber so i was thinking about maybe debuting that today but i think i'm gonna save it for the next squint cast i feel like that's a more appropriate time to bust it out but it is all set up i mean 
using video tube is a very easy process all you need is the four images and they really plug and play so i already set up the the model but uh okay before i read this next one i'm just quick save like i can very easily just uh switch between them like here i am as this other model that i have that's from the uh emoji kitchen setup and there's a third one that i am keeping secret for now but I'm sure many a close friend knows what's up. So, you have been warned. Next Squaincast, we are getting a new PNG tuber. Oh, Moopa. The, uh, the virus that has been plaguing our, ar our archetype model FF06 mainframe due to an unknown attack has finally been localized by our research team. And identified. After a complete cleanup on the mainframe's core, I am happy to announce that the interference has been removed. The soul of the, this machine has improved. Excuse me? Okay. That one's an odd one. I wonder what that's all about. The right flyer won. The aircraft above is the original. Oh. Above. This original is the original Wright Flyer 1, designed by Orville and Wilbur Wright. On December 17th, 1903, the Kitty Hawk, North Carolina, in Kitty Hawk, North Carolina, the vehicle performed its maiden flight for a mere 12 seconds, covering a distance of only 120 feet. This historic event marked, wow, uh, the first sustained and sustained and controlled heavier than air uh, powered flight. Whoa. 1903. Wow. 100 years later, we're doing a lot with those things, huh? I wonder what the new raccoon could be, says Jackie. Oh, we will we shall see very soon. Mac and cheese, turpentine. Good finds, good finds. Yeah, so I was scavenging the wastes, you know, no big deal. Found some turpentine. No need to be jealous. It's kind of a big deal. I mean, I don't know. Oh! This is the second time I've encountered this trap. Check it out. It's this, uh, see these two wires here? If you drink the toilet water, it'll, just, it'll shock me. And it'll also shock my audience, but it'll physically shock, it'll shock my damage if I drink from it here. A very rare uh, trap you won't see that often in the game. You can uh, activate these micro fusion cells and take them. I now won't get zapped anymore. See, I got fusion cells and toilet water. Best outcome. 35 of them, too. It's nothing to sneeze at. But, um, a chew. You know what I mean? door. Okay. Okay, I've uh, searched every single corner of this floor except this last terminal. Information. I know there's a little secret quest that we need to uh, do here. I'm going to uh, quick save. Let's see what happens if I press zero zeros. Hey there, Jigs. I finally found a good place to ditch your share of the loot. It was a hell... Excuse me, drinking delicious Mountain Dew. Baja Blast, zero, zero sugar right now. Um, maybe pausing to expel every so often. Um, <laughs> found, found a good place to ditch your share of the loot. It was hell getting here, but I made it. I left the usual breadcrumbs all over some of the info terminals in this place. Their computer security was a joke. Complete the sequence and your, your, oh, there's apostrophe hidden in that Y. And you're home free, but make sh any mistakes and the system will lock you out. We'll meet up at the usual spot later. Good luck. Prime. Prime. Oh, 001. Okay. I think it's 19. Good luck. So, 
it's it's pretty weird but th this little uh this little side quest it's one of the unmarked quests in this game and it's like the last unmarked quest i want to do mainly i mean there's a few more but this one i've had in my tabs forever the hint was his name was Prime, so we'll be encountering these information terminals, and I think there's like three or four of them, and we have to select, um, well, guess, guess what? <laughs> his name is Prime. We have to select all the Prime numbers out of the numbers presented, so 19 is the only one that's divisible by itself, and 1, making it a Prim number. Confirmed. Need three confirmations. Cool. You know what's has been bothering me a bit after all these years since the apocalypse <laughs> the toilet water in these buildings would have long since evaporated that's very accurate jackie i agree <laughs> i've i've encountered just like you know like an old abandoned toilet out in the wild at let's say like i don't know like an estate sale house or something it's just just some rundown house and uh those things just evaporate <laughs> Like, that, that that thing would be empty. What am I doing checking the toilets there? Um, exhibit guide. Uh, transportation exhibits. The Museum of Technology is proud to present a <laughs> journey through the history of ground transportation. Take a step back in time and see the original steam-powered car and the development of the internal combustion engine. Experience the rise of micro-sized nuclear power. Oh my god. And walk through our two-story Mach Fusion engine to see what happens firsthand when you turn the key. Exhibit sponsored by the Chrysler Corporation. <laughs> it's, it's like Chrysler, but not re robotics ex exhibition. The Museum of Technology will be proud to be the home of some of the original prototypes in the Mr. Handy, Mr. Gusty, and Protectron robotics lines. See the development of these mechanical assistants and how they, they've they made our lives easier. Play an, our artificial intelligence game where you will program a robot and watch it obey your commands in real time. After seeing what makes them tick, you'll never see look at your robot the same way again so it's sponsored by the robco and general atomics international flight exhibits take the skies and soar above the clouds as you view the our aircraft exhibits throughout the museum of technology the original wright brothers flyer the vintage world war ii p-51 mustang and several other are aircraft plural of aircraft is aircraft and several other aircraft can be found hanging about the museum. Also, be sure to visit our flight experience gallery where you can take a simulated airline flight on board a full-sized jetliner. <laughs> that sounds really entertaining. Or step into the hair-raising white-knuckle world of air traffic control in our Tower of Terror exhibit sponsored by Lock Reed in Industries. So many sponsors. Uh, space flight exhibits. Countdown to excitement as you take to the stars in our brand new spacecraft space flight uh, gallery. Speaking of space flight, there's been uh, there's been a lot of talk lately about space flight lately. With uh, with apparently there's like uh, oh, <laughs> what year is this again? By by the end of this decade that we're currently in. Hello there, people of the future listening to this. Uh, they they plan at least from where I am right now, and what's, what's being said on that wonderful show 60 Minutes that we all love and watch every night, every Sunday night. I think that's when it's on. There's uh, talks about uh, having another manned mission to the moon. That seems to be NASA's current, uh, NASA's current focus going into the future to establish a base on the moon with... Uh, with people on it, so that'll be neat. I am interested in seeing what what's going to uh, happen in within the next six years or so for space travel. I mean, I know they already have like space tourism, but the idea of there being like a little base on a different like uh, body is sounds pretty awesome. Yeah, Jackie says first the moon, then further out. Mm -hmm. That's what I heard too from the news report. They're talking about how. Uh, they're looking to go to Mars, too, after that. 
but yeah apparently it's just like <laughs> there's there's so many challenges going on with just even putting someone on the moon i know we did it like 50 years ago but like establishing a a permanent colony there is or whatever a, a, a base there sounds pretty pretty wild and futuristic pretty exciting time marble at man's ingenuity as you view an exact replica of the virgo 2 moon lander that participated in the first manned moon landing dabble with forces beyond your comprehension with our working g4 simulator <laughs> ride oh boy i love centrifuges uh or take to the stars in the corpor cor Coperni copernicus a planetarium exhibit sponsored by the united states space administration a copernicus special events vault ooh vault -Tex vault of tomorrow we get to see a little vault demonstration i found this very charming when i first played the game thanks to the generous thanks to a generous grant from the vault tech corporation the vault tour is open to the public walk through a section of an actual vault and observe all of the modern conveniences vault tech has added to uh it's now legendary nuclear fallout shelters interact with the exhibits within the vault and see just how life within one of these subterranean marvels is as comfortable as living at home. Time tickets for the tour are now available at the information desk in the main atrium. <gasps> that's now. That's that's where I am. West Tech Power Armor de Demo. West Tech, the world's leading arms manufacturer. <laughs> Great. Demonstrates the T-51B Power Armor suit in our Darwin Theater. Get a first-hand look at how the armor is designed to defeat any type of adversary with an actual live combat simulation using robotic targets. Oh god, <laughs> time tickets available at information desk, main atrium. Note that the li <laughs> note that a liability waiver must be signed to attend this event. Lecture. Oppenheimer's folly? Oh boy, this is topical. Oh Jackie says it will make it easier to go further into the solar system if we have a base on the moon. To launch from plus the moon base would prove the concept of and let us know what it requires to create habitats on other planets in the solar system oh yeah it requires to create other habitats that's cool so much you can learn i see there's going to be a lot to learn from establishing that on the moon lots of uh lots of experience lots of science being done up there and cool that we need that as like a, a spaceport essentially to launch to other places that's so cool i haven't clicked on the videos but uh, there's a lot of buzz around the idea of uh like I've, I've seen thumbnails in my recommended talking about 3d printing using the uh the dust on the moon <laughs> i i like i think there's all i've seen so far is just thumbnail videos about like skeptics either agreeing with or disagreeing with the concept of 3d printing structures on the moon using just the material that's laying around so i'm curious to read up more about on that <laughs> yeah it's easier to learn stuff closer to earth than just going straight to mars which i feel like has been one of the main ideas when it came to mars travel for a while like within the last 10 years i haven't heard anything about like making a little base on the moon until recently I'd always heard about just like, hey, yeah, so the next step is um, we're going to go to Mars. <laughs> we launch something in the space. Next step, Mars. <laughs> like, it makes sense that you would want to really, really incrementally step these things. <laughs> Hobbit Harris Folly, a lecture by Professor J.R. Gumby. <laughs> this lecture explores the real possibility that nuclear war may not be as far off as we think. Oh, God. And the effects will be will have on the future of our planet and the effects it will have on, on the future of our planet by illustrating past uses of smaller scale atomic weapons professor gumby will shock you frighten you <laughs> make you wish you could just duck and cover to survive a real nuclear attack tickets atrium yep okay hello jay nice to see you Thank you for the little wave. Uh, planetarium tickets. Copernicus Planetarium. Schedule is subject to change without notice. Please inquire at the information desk for tickets and ticket prices. 
The long road to Mars. Oh, topical. 1 p.m., 3 p.m., 5 p.m. Take a simulation flight through the stars from our Earth to the red planet. Journey beyond the universe. What lies beyond the, our universe? Take a theoretical journey farther than anyone's gone before. We're all just stardust. This program asks a simple but thought-provoking question. Where did we come from? Zany Planet Show. Join Captain Space Galaxy as he travels the star systems and visits each of the worlds within it. Recommended for children 4 to 10 years old. Uh, Gigantomax tickets? Gigantomax tickets. Gigantomax theater. Schedule to change. Yep. Yikes. Uh, cower, cow. In fear as all sorts of gigantic vehicles drive at the viewer and give you the bug's eye view of oncoming traffic. Roller coaster. Strap yourself in for the ride of your life. All from the safety of our 300 seat Gigantomax Theater. Ride 10 of the world's most notorious roller coasters from the front seat. Sickness bags not included. Lol. Col oh no! <laughs> A colonoscopy. Oh no. Using our special Gynamax technology, you'll make- <laughs> you'll marvel at the <laughs> details of our three-story screen as you take a real-time voyage into a very familiar part of the human anatomy. Oh no. Museum loot. Hell yeah. Let's see what it says. Okay. Good. <laughs> Maple is not happy about that one. Red Fallout lore recently that the vault tech vaults were not meant to for fallout shelters, but were meant for experiments to build habitats for the moon and Mars. Oh, I knew about that aspect that they were more like set up to be all experiments. <laughs> I wonder if I shot him if if I made that blood appear there because that's very well placed. Oh, yeah, I did. Maybe I did. It's it's doing some funky stuff. It was if it was meant to be there. I'm pretty sure I'm the one who splatted that there from I'm doing this. Toasty. So yeah, I knew that they were all about experiments, but I didn't know that they were experiments for like future uh travel. That's cool. Future space travel. Hello, Jay. USS uh Ebon Atoll's flag. This flag was recovered from the wreck of the USS Ebon Atoll, a U.S. Navy missile carrier cruiser sunk off the coast of Alaska in 2066 with all hands lost. Oh, God. The cutting edge vessel's loss was due to a nuclear torpedo strike from the U.S. Navy submarine. Huh? The U.S. Uh, S interference during the Anchorage campaign. Submarine mistook the cruiser for an enemy vessel during radio silence and sunk it before obtaining visual confirmation. This ranks as one of the most tragic disasters in U.S. naval history since World War II. Wow. Tragic. I was, I was confused. Like, wait a minute. That means it would have been friendly fire, and it, it turns out it was. Interesting. I see, I see those turrets up there, but I'm just... I'm just like, was the game expecting me to like sneak to come up here and then activate the turrets, I guess? Which is odd because these two guys are in the way. It's that other one. I guess end the way is a weird way of putting it because I. They weren't that much in the way. Okay. Let's, uh. Continue on. Yep, same biz. Just gonna look if there's another one of those uh little looks things. Coffee pot yeet! Thank you for noticing, Maple. Yeet. Let's stop in here for a second. This is a goofy little joke if that's intentional. I mean it's intentional, but not, you know, the joke intentional where it says halls of today and they're all caved in. Which is very, uh, accurate to how today is in the Fallout universe. In this game, that's filled to the brim with environmental storytelling. 
I have a hunch that this was intentional. Wow, even more stealth boys. There's just places just chucked full of stealth boys, or it's like, yeah, it's the technology place. Sure, throw throw twenty stealth boys in there. Makes sense, right? Ooh. Thank you. Triple S technology is Vault Tech's convergence of the three most important parts of apocalyptic endurance safety, survivability, and sanitation. Sorry that's so low. Can I. I think radio maybe might change that. Uh. Let's try upping radio. Oh, it's just like home. Ooh, the, the like. Knowing that our impenetrable vault doors can withstand a direct hit by an atomic bomb with only a failure rate. Two percent failure for for direct hits from atomic bombs. Neat. Yeah, no, the me upping the radio did not help at all. Um. Alrighty then. Let me just uh. We just delete the save file. Let's put this back down. Because that didn't do anything. I like that these uh, automated doors actually work. It's like the only automated door that works in this game. CBS pharmacy door opening technology exists. At least in vaults. Yay! The living sections make use of our revolutionary floor sock auto cleaner system. Hmm. Those darned messy kids never sweep again. Ah, uh, to be a floor sock. Let's see if these actually work. Oop. Fuck, I did it again. Let's see, Let's see if these actually have anything on them. Coffee mug, nope. Nope, nothing in that. This place looks pretty clean. Work sucking the floor. Aw. Poor that guy didn't get, a, get to finish his iguana bits before the apocalypse. Take your beer, though. Moms will love how our Culinator 3000 kitchen system makes cooking a breeze. Mmm, I can smell the muffins baking now. I like this guy. Mmm. Makes me think of like a Simpsons bit. Oh, they actually put stuff in here. I guess they, uh, those two things have like a seated random type thing, I bet. Wow, the most organized table in the whole universe. Okay. Or don't be. Step into our Entertainatron room and watch the latest holotapes, or perhaps listen to a symphony. Another vault tech innovation. Wow. The future is now. Concerns about security? Our eye on you cameras enable the vault leader to watch your every move. You'll never be alone again. <laughs> Thank goodness. Revolutionizing safety for a certain future. Should the unlikely event arise that the planet is laid to waste, you'll feel happy knowing your family will be safe in a vault tech vault. Yay! Please take a brochure from our helpful Vault Tech guides. No brochures! No hors d'oeuvres! Cool. With the power of TCL, I'm gonna get back up there, but I see now. If I, like, I guess if I snuck. Oh, thank you for the snacks. Oh, a little house out of pencils and a little bottle cap. That's cute. We'll I'll keep that there. You can keep your bottle cap. Keep your secrets. And go up here. This is where the security place is. Camera. Gore bag. Al Gore bag. The inconvenient gore bag. Cool. Turrets. Sludge. Why not? Love me some sludge hammer. Ooh. 
Nikola Tesla. Oh, a bunch of bulletins. Yummy. Due to increased power consumption from the installation of the Voltec Vault Tour, three new reactors have been installed in the sub basement section. This should help prevent any further brownouts or full blackouts in the visitor galleries that we've been experiencing. Thanks to your thanks for your patience during this transition. Derek Remings. Remings. Just pronounce that better. Maintenance coordinator. This is a general announcement to any employees who use the men's lavatory facilities in the maintenance area. I have logged too many complaints that people are not flushing the toilets after using them. People who use the facility to relieve themselves expect a clean and tidy environment to prevent this from becoming a reoccurring issue. Card swipes act. This card swipe access will be required for each stall, which logs your name. Oh no! Which will log your name, time in the stall, and- Oh god. I don't want to read that last part. Until such time that we de deem it no longer necessary. Thanks, Derek. Awful. <laughs> After numerous complaints, a single pending lawsuit, the guy- G the Giganto Max Theater's sound system has been lowered from 130 decibels to 120. Jesus. Please note that imp all employees working in or near the theater should still wear proper ear protection to prevent any permanent damage. Jeez. <laughs> like, yeah, that, that's good to see, Jackie, that even in the future, some things never change. Like the men's bathroom. The planetarium recording system has been malfunctioning lately, causing the normally automated program to stop and repeat itself. If you observe this happening, please contact myself or the chief of maintenance on duty immediately so the system can be restarted. Uh, we hope to have the issue resolved by the start of next year. Thank you, Derek. Great, great bulletins you got there. Sackless average. Involving. Okay, thank you. Maple. You know what would make the public... <laughs> yeah. Aw. You know what would make the gro a gross public men's restroom neat? Maple. I think you would, uh... Yeah, I think maple would be a good addition to those. I think that would, uh... <laughs> I think that would help them out a lot, actually. There'd be some... There'd be an orderly line there, I think. Uh... Figure. You know, I'll activate them and not reconfigure them because I'm smart. Because I like a challenge. What will you do? <laughs> I have a few ideas. Okay. Maybe it'll forget about me. Doesn't seem to forget about me. Okay, fine. It's only a Mark 1. It's only a Mark Rover. No big deal. That is, that is false. Mark Rober is a big deal. He's a science man who does things on YouTube. He gets many a click. Oh, lots more things to read, folks. You're in luck if you like to sit down and hear, hear me say things. But before that, we have some business to do. Some big business. Hello! <laughs> Poor guy. Oh, hi. You. Overlord? Nope, just Master. Master Shake. Sula. The Mike Rula. The old Sula. 
Yeah, I watch Adult Swim, so I get humor. That's not an original joke. There's this one image of this lady who's like making a hand gesture and she's like, I get humor. I watch Adult Swim. Oh, you opened it. I think this is an overlord. Yep. Okay, let's see what I can do to one. One sneaked. Oh my gosh, that's like, that's a good amount of its health. Oh god, I broke his tri beam. It's floating. Oh, he picked it back up. See, this is so much easier than having to actually deal with them, right? Thank goodness. We have this option. Hey. Gonna die to fire damage? Nope. Goodbye. He kind of died to fire damage. I feel like the last hit wouldn't have killed him. If I didn't wait a few seconds. I think it was a regular one. Yep. Goodbye. I've earned this cheat code run of the game, I think. I've been maxed hard enough that I think it uh it warrants this hassle free run, right? Ooh. Okay. Hello. Nice to, uh, beat you. Okay. Now we're gonna go all the way back and read all the terminals in order because you and me both care about the lore. The lore. He is the Lorax. He speaks for the Fallout 3 Wikipedia lore. Hmm. I'm sorry. Oh. Oh. Wow. Oh shit! <laughs> okay, that, that wow, that was a pretty good distraction. Okay, you've earned this fight. Okay. Oh, unintentionally walking. Uh, I pressed caps lock. I see it's repeating itself because of the what the terminal said. I'm just gonna relax for a sec here. That mutant attack was really out of nowhere. Nope, it's gonna keep going. I think there's a terminal here that resets it. Ooh, Nuka. Manuka. Um, obviously it's Coyote. Damn it. Um, Irvine. Uh, Beyond, I think? Yeah, it's beyond. Nice. Unlock? Oh, okay. Research terminal. Cool. Oh, it's probably up here, the thing that resets it. Cool. Stop show. Okay, it's probably finishing its last little spiel. Stars. 
And S. Kennedy, a member of STARS. Man is interested in the stars because he looks up there and sees funny little pictures. He sees a lady holding a pitcher of water and goes, hee hee. I, I, I like what I'm seeing. Okay, I did definitely press stop on that thing, but it's fine. It can, it can keep playing if it wants. No skin off my teeth. That's the phrase, right? Far out space facts. Hell yeah. Uh, space fact number one. The planet Jupiter is larger than a thousand Earths. Space fact number two. The outer layers of the sun have what's known as differential rotation. The equator of the surface rotates once every 25.4 days. But near the poles, the it rotates once every 36 days. Jesus, that's weird. I, I don't even I can't even comprehend that a neutron star is completely dense and solid matter ah in fact it weighs a, a trillion times heavier than lead that means a piece of a neutron star the size of a pinhead would weigh as much as a large building god damn dense dense boy there the sun loses almost 4 million tons of mass every second by turning hydrogen gas into energy. That adds up to home almost 345 billion tons per day. That... Okay, that's... Scary. <laughs> that is, in fact, scary. These facts are now filling me with dread. Uh, if we were to send a message to someone on the planet... On a planet beyond to our closest neighboring solar system, Alpha Centauri, which is almost 4.4 million uh, light years away, uh, we wouldn't receive a reply for more than 8.8 .8 years. Interesting. Yeah. Six. There are about 175 billion galaxies in our in the observable universe each with as few as 10 million stars, up to giants with 1 trillion stars, all orbiting a common center of mass. What? What? Are, what? <laughs> it's like these facts are interesting, but it's like... I, I could never possibly be able to perceive that sort of a number. That's so neat and scary. <laughs> If all of the particles that make up Saturn's rings were gathered together, they would form a sphere about 120 miles in diameter. Ooh, sounds like a big planet. Or a little planet. Uh, Olympus Mons, a volcano found on Mars, is the largest known volcano in the solar system. It is 370 miles, uh, 595 kilometers across, and rises 15 miles, 24 kilometers. That's three times larger than Mount Everest. Whoa. Space facts can be a little mind-breaking. <laughs> they sure can, Jackie. Amazing. Space is a very scary place. I'm glad I don't have to live in it. I'd be... I'd be screaming and losing and doing many bodily functions if I had to live in space, so I'm glad I don't have to live in space and that doesn't have to happen live on stream. Good thing no one has to admit anything to me. That, like, we're actually living in space or whatever. Museum information. Ooh! O2. Good luck! Divisible. 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 Okay, it's 53. Confirmed. Nice. Okay. Uh, what's this? Oh my. Another thing to read. Uh, oh boy. XVB02 Vertibird prototype. This is a scaled model of the prototype military transportation vehicle being developed by the U.S. military. 
the thing I just said is a VTOL vertical takeoff and landing craft that uh, with an extremely durable armored fuselage and can be armed with a variety of offensive weapons and defensive countermeasures. This is the most advanced aircraft of its kind ever developed and the military hopes to press them into service by 2085. I love space stuff. I do too, Jackie. It's all very neat. I've, I mean, I'm having a good time learning about all that stuff, and it makes me happy just thinking about it. Thinking about space stuff out there. And I'm not actually, like, you know, <laughs> afraid of that stuff I was mentioning. It's just, it's just it is factually unfathomable. Un unf unfathomable to just try to perceive all that all those big all those big numbers it's like it's like i've heard you know like <laughs> around like however many thousands of things like a, a human has a hard time just perceiving it like physically like a, like a room of let's say like 7000 people i feel like that's hard to actually like perceive even though that seems like a small number it's it's kind of like that's like more people than you'll ever know the names of or anything so then, then we have all these big numbers that, like, actually exist and are out there and are provable. I'm just thinking about how little we can actually know about something at any point. It's just like, whoa. <laughs> it's fun and interesting. It's like a, a cool thought experiment. Uh, exhibit under construction. The exhibit is undergoing renovations and to return soon. Tanks. Ah, tanks. Core bag. Delta 9 rocket. <laughs> I mean, I go down to my smoke shop and get some of that. Delta 9 rocket was donated by the United States Space Administration and by a grant from the United States Department of Antiques. Delta 9 rocket. Delta 9 rocket information. Delta 9 rocket was commissioned, uh, commissioned by the USSA in 2020. <gasps> And that's the only thing that happened in that year, was the last of the manned rockets that sent our brave American astronauts to the moon. Uh, it's a little earlier than whatever. Um, the Delta Nine was in use from almost for almost 15 years before being converted for military use and having the crew and instruments section replaced with a nuclear warhead. The Delta Nine recorded over 77 successful launches. That's so neat when. Uh, like, we make these rockets and we have to, like, because it's so fucking expensive, uh, they have so many, like, launches that they generally have to do. That's so cool how, you know, once you make a rocket, it's, it's like, it's gonna have some history for a minute. It's not, these generally aren't one-use things for budgetary reasons. Uh, making it one of the most successful rockets in U.S. history. The rocket developed entirely by USSA scientists was a single-stage vehicle with an ejectable crew section or satellite storage bay. The propulsion system was a nuclear electronic. <laughs> Just the idea of a rocket actually having nuclear stuff on it is <laughs> it's terrifying. Because if something nuclear related on a rocket explodes halfway in its mission, that's gonna like, that's gonna contaminate like, like a whole fourth of the ocean or something. Um, uh, <laughs> nuclear electric, uh, devitation de drive, de derivation drive, uh, using a massive electronical jolt to start a nuclear reaction on launch. <laughs> the crew section was <laughs> protected from the radioactive chambers by way of a massive titanium ver- Adium disc. The spacecraft had the capacity to sustain two astronauts for up to 24 days maximum. The longest recorded space flight in the Delta 9 rocket was a 17 day Zeus 12 mission to the moon. Use instruments, the show instrument section. Cool. Oh, yeah. Aha, uh -huh, Jackie. That's why people can't comprehend just how much a billion dollars is and how exploitative billionaires are. Mm -hmm. Because folks folks probably can't properly conceptualize just how much a billion is. That's so right, Jackie, yeah. 
That's <laughs> to be a billionaire. It's like impossibly, like improbable that you did not use. I mean, it's like a factual that it's <laughs> you had to be be exploitative to get to that sort of wealth, just because how like how exceedingly far that is from like even the idea of being a millionaire. Like being a millionaire is like okay, you, like you know, there's there's honest work probably there to to, to do that, I guess. But I don't know. It's still, just. <laughs> How huge a billion is, though, compared to that. I don't know. Seems like something... Something fishy happened there. Something under the radar, if you ask me. Well, just in our ability to comprehend it. Oh, hello, Nick Lopez. Cheese. Delta Rocket. Delta 9 rocket information. Delta 9 rocket, uh... Got it. Oh! Inst show instrument sections. I got it. I think it's actually turning the lights on and off in here. Yeah. So it lit that part up. Show crew section. <laughs> it's this part, I think. Show propulsion section. Probably lit up down there. There are actually a bunch of nuclear powered satellites still in space. That's terrifying, Jackie. I had no clue that we actually have nuclear powered spacecrafts. I don't know how that hasn't gone wrong, and if it has, that's I'm, that's horrifying. Spacesuit. This is an actual USSA deep space suit worn by Captain Carl Bell on May 5th, 1961. Captain Bell is credited as being the first human in space on board the space capsule Defiance 7. But this has been constantly refuted by both the Soviet US Union and China. Defiance 7's flight lasted for a total of 12 minutes and 7 seconds as it achieved one full rotation around the Earth. Cool. Oh, <laughs> I see. The USSR launched most of them, so they're pretty aged <laughs> as well. That's unfortunate. <laughs> it's like, how can you even decommission something like that from space? I don't know if you can. Ooh. Valiant 12 flag. Oh, I thought it said fang for a second. Okay, it's just a flag. Yes, me choking the, smoking the shuttle like, hello. <laughs> hello over my dad body. <laughs> yeah, totally. I, I was making jokes about it being called Delta 9 Rocket 2. <laughs> oh, hi there. Are you part of the display? Not a place one smokes. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, come on. Seems like a good place to light up. Hello. Captain Be Oh, it is actually his body. Oh. Oh. I don't know where I flung him. Um. <laughs> they actually had his body on display. What? Captain <laughs> Carl Cap Bell. This is the actual skeleton of Carl Bell, who died on May 5th, 1961, after his space capsule crash landed. <laughs> Captain Bell is credited as being the first human in space on board the space capsule Defiant 7, but this has been constantly refuted. Yep. Defiant 7's last flight. Yep. <laughs> Hello. Donated by Edwin Bell. Th wait. Edwina Bell. That's so stupid. <laughs> Your name could be more iconic right now. <laughs> Thank you over my dead body. <laughs> it's time over my dead body. Perfect for this moment. <laughs> uh, this unusual flag was recovered from the surface of the moon by <laughs> the very last manned flight to its surface on 2052. Okay, there's still time for that to be the case. Uh, the flag is from the old... Uh, Valiant 12, uh, 
Virgo 3 Lunar Lander. A touchdown November 14th, 1969. Its remarkable condition can be attributed to its construction. The flag is actually made of special materials to withstand the harsh environment of space. Oh yeah, huh? Yeah, that seems like the... Okay, I've heard that that, that, that darn flag on that darn hunk of rock up there. I've heard that it's like bleached white by this point. You aren't fooling me, Fallout 3. Bethesda, Maryland. You aren't fooling me. Bethesda, Maryland. Think you can pull faster on me? No, sir. Ooh. System upgrades, courtesy of Prime. Okay, this should be the last one, I think. Uh. Okay. Which one of these is a Prime number? Okay, so it's not 99. I don't know which one of these three is. I'm guessing it's 113, but... Uh, we're gonna... If people on the chat want to guess between those three numbers, which one of them is a prime number? I'm just gonna double check. And ask Google. Google, or... <laughs> prime... Numbers. Damn it, all these easy, like, images that show up are, like, all up to a hundred. No, stop giving me... You think it's 113? Okay, first thousand prime numbers, thank you. Okay, it is 113. Thank you, Jackie. Nice. Ooh, get passcode. Nice job, Jigs. I knew you'd mas remember the good old days. The loot is up in the security office safe in the upper part of the West Wing. Use the terminal up there to get in. Enjoy your share, pal. You earned it. Meet me in the old diner outside of the Jury Street metro station. See you there. Good luck, Prime. Thank you, Prime. Oh, yeah, I should have just said that. <laughs> Hey, Google, is 113 a prime number? <laughs> or Jackie. <laughs> Who needs Google when you have Jackie? One of them, it's my information is much safer with one of those two. Jackie is not a prime number. Thank you. I, I If I would Google that, I'm sure Google would have a harder, harder time telling me that than you did. So glad I have you here for that. Yeet. Oh. Yeah, this 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 might eat the coffee pot even farther. Oh, that was pretty yeeted, I gotta say. I don't think I could have yeeted yeeted that coffee pot that well without that bomb. Look, I like exploring, I like looking around all the corners. Okay, World War II flight medals. Uh, these the medals in this case were typically awarded to American pilots in the World War in the World War Two, excuse me, the World War Two. Like get it together, Bethesda, Maryland. From left to right, the top, uh, top to bottom, Medal of Honor, Distinguished Service Cross, Silver Star, Distinguished Flying Cross, <laughs> Navy Cross, Air Medals. Look, I like gaslighting everyone. Bronze Star, the Purple Heart, great. Oh, this is the thing I came here for. As you can see, the little marker on my map is just focused on this satellite dish. Right, I'm going to save here. Will this damage it? Please, okay. I guess it didn't. Just to be safe in case it did damage it. Anyway, um, Lunar 2, uh, Virgo 2, Lunar, Lunar Lander. On July 16th, 1969. <laughs> Thanks, Jackie. The Lunar, uh, the, the Virgo 2, Lunar Lander, Valiant 11. Just want to make sure I've been saying that right this whole time. Became the very first manned space vehicle to touch down on the moon. The Valiant 11's crew consists of Captain Richard Wade, 
Captain Mark Garris, and Captain Michael Hagen of the USSA. I salute the brave and noble men who the who took the very first steps on a planetary body other than our own. Oh, you're saying this this rocket was manned, huh? Okay. Call me surprised. Oh, I just looked at it. What? What? Uh, what happened? I just looked at it. What? What? Okay. I'm slightly scared. <laughs> I didn't even touch it. What happened? <laughs> what happened? See a maintenance. Lots of bulletins. Yep. Okay. We read all these. Let's copy and paste terminal. Come on to you, Bethesda, Maryland. I, I forget if it's even in Maryland. I'm pretty sure that's where Bethesda is. The, uh, the company and or town that it's based in and or of from this game and or is. If not, then I've been boo boo the fool this whole time. I'm glad this mini this machine gun has a clip of fifty bullets. It allows me to do little gags whenever I want. Okay. Goodbye. <laughs> Wee. Planetarium. Planet tutorial. Undertale. It's a magazine. Did I not say magazine? <laughs> they were to scale. Thank you. Good to know over my dad body. <laughs> Look, I'm just thinking about things. You can tell what I'm thinking about when I zoom in. Okay, hard cabinet, whatever. Fuck it. Fuck. Shit! There we go. Wow. Fuck. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> you. Okay. You. Okay. Okay. You. Thank you. Uh, I guess that's... Sure, I'll, I'll unlock that in a second. Ooh, new reading, I think. Uh, I wanna... Unencumber myself. Let's do that for a sec. Oh, I definitely don't need this on me. Goodbye. You too. So I'll repair you with you. Uh, it's kind of more useful to have them as separate, I think. Even though they're so gosh dang heavy. Um, you have a bunch of junk in this trunk. Surprising no one. Yeah, that's fine. So is it this door that probably gets unlocked? To understand why what? Man is so interested in this unknown expanse of space around I wonder what they mean by unlock. Oh, can I locate the door? Okay, well that's the one that's like busted open, I guess. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay, dad body. I forget what I'm saying all the time, too. Oh, bye. Okay, I deleted that one, I think. <laughs> oh! If you hockey a bunch of rocket launches, you can rapid fire them. That's really clever, Nick. Wow, sounds very overpowered and fun. 
might do that sometime to try it out. Just, uh, I have a lot of, <laughs> I have a lot of missiles to do that with, so that sounds like a fun time. Yeah, I'm gonna always press, uh, caps lock. Makes my guy walk slow. Someone please fix the planetarium projection system. Oh, I think I already read all these, yeah. Yep. Okay, they aren't new. I was excited. But then it was dashed. Like rainbow dash. Aw. So pretty. Wow. Okay, now stop. Ha. Okay. If you played a way out, I have not played that before. But I have a two-player game experience that's planned for Thursday with my friend Saint. My co-host with the most host. Saint, known as the co-host on our, our shared podcast, Squaintcast. I'm saying real words, by the way. Everything I just said was real. Um, we have a... We're planning one of the dark... The dark uh, story anthology. I, f I forgot what they're called. Um, so I'm curious what the game is we're going to be playing. I recognize all those words. Thank you, Jackie. We plan to play... The Dark Pictures Anthology, The Devil in Me, which is a multiplayer uh, horror experience. Oh! Good thing I quick save every time I minimize the screen because Fallout just crashed. Dark holes. <laughs> oh, you should play Outlast some someday. I should. I was actually looking into Outlast like earlier today. Uh, Outlast is a f silly series, or at least I I've, I've seen parts of the first one, and it is silly and fun looking. So Outlast is definitely a in consideration. Whoops. <laughs> okay. Unlock safe. Yeah. Ooh. Oh yeah. Oh, we're, we're zoomed in because. Uh, gun locker key, 200 caps. Nice. Zoomed in because I have to do, fix the FOV every time. Because I'm not tech savvy enough to know what a bin file is. <laughs> These games are too scary for me. It's the, uh... So yeah, me and Saint plan to try out the series that... The first game of which was, uh... Oh, I forgot. I, I was listening. I was... I was just hearing about this title the other day. Um, it's, uh... Fuck, I'm forgetting it. It's just escaping right now. It's a series that starts with, um... God, I have to look it up. It's the game about the Wendigo. Oh. It, oh, it isn't that company. Oh, I thought the Dark Pictures was the same company that made... Okay. So no, the the uh, Man of Medan you might have heard of. It's the series that's with that. But um, that that's what The Devil in Me is a game in the series of. If you've heard of The Man of Medan or Little Hope or House of Ashes. I have not played House of Ashes, but I know the story of Man of Medan and Little Hope. And, uh, The Devil in Me is the fourth game in that series, but... <laughs> Hard uh, Alt F4. Um... What game was I thinking? Oh, Until Dawn. I thought Until Dawn was in the same series, but I guess it isn't. Or is it? Good double check. Because if you, if you played Until Dawn, it feels like it's the rest of those games. The quarry is the spiritual successor. 
super massive games. Okay. Sorry, I'm going down a little rabbit hole. Super massive games is known for the Little Big Planet series, and also. Yes. Okay. No, they are. It is the same series. Okay. Good. I was worried that I, I, I thought Until Dawn wasn't the same series, but it, it technically is. But it's, it's not actually part of the Dark Pictures anthology, like little mini whatever they're doing. It's just, <laughs> it's just a separate, a separate series in the same style. Whatever. Okay. Problem, mystery solved. Tried playing Alien Isolation, Isolation the other day. Could not walk through the first door. <laughs> oh, I see. That's what you hard alt F forward. Uh, security bulletin one. Attention all museum security personnel. The International Ordnance Museum has graciously loaned us some of their prized antique weapons for the firearms exhibi ex exhibition uh, beginning uh, being displayed in the atrium. The exhibit will be uh, will be placed fuck, will be in place from August fourteenth, uh, twenty seventy seven. Okay, very close to when. Before, oh, an until December thirty first, twenty seventy seven. Yep, right in the time frame when the the bombs dro dropped in October of that year. Uh, please adjust your rounds accordingly and have an extra security presence in this area at all times. Donald Cohen. Makes sense. Lead museum curator. Security bulletin 2. Attention all museum security personnel. I'd like to request that all riot gear and security firearms be moved to the new gun locker in the planetarium research office. Ooh. The cabinet should remain locked at all times. The key to the cabinet must be carried by the duty shift supervisor and left in the security office safe when shift changes occur at the closing time. At closing time. Yep. Attention all museum security personnel. The museum technology annual gala dinner will be held in the atrium on November 1st, 2077. That would never happen. We expect over a hundred attendees, including several local dignitaries and head of the state. Please set up security checkpoints and provide visible coverage for this event as per security mandate 99078B in your handbook. Cool. You think they dropped on the 23rd, says Jackie, in October. Cool. I got the key. I forgot where the... I think the gun cabinet's in the... I, I think I know where it is. Turret system. Fun. Um, vaporizes. Nope. Uh, c c cathedral. Nope. Painting. Nope. Just gonna brute force this one. I think I've earned a couple of brute force ones. Okay, yep, it's just this one. Converted. It's so weird not hearing the, like, you got points sound effect for getting experience. So, supposedly, we're off on our way to get a gun. Enter the gungeon. Hmm. Was it here? No, I'm seeing things. I'm... Where is this? Planetarium research off. Oh, okay. Oh, it was the. Uh huh. I I did. I already opened that gun cabinet because I had a a hundred whatever hacksaw. <laughs> I have a hundred lock picking, so I was able to open that up already. This one right here. Okay, so did I get the special gun or not? I don't think I did get the special gun. I'm gonna quickly... I'm gonna get the satellite that I came here for for the main mission. And then I'm going to... Okay, do a thing. Take the Virgo 2 dish. Nice. Okay, saved. Oh, it's Riku. Who's this round raccoon? Hello.
I plan to debut the new the new uh VTuber PNG tuber on Squaintcast. Inside the safe, sundry valuables, and the gun locker key for the planetarium office, this cabinet, several firearms, yep, missile, assorted blah, Nicola. After entering the last terminal code, the Lone Wanderer receives another note. Earned your share. Yep. Meet us at the usual spot. Okay, the usual spot will have the the special gun. Got it. Okay, I, I don't think I ever got this gun normally in my main playthroughs of this game. Oops. I just uh save us some time here. Dum de dum. Whoop. Yep. That's for you, audience. I, I care a lot about the audience, and I won't, I care about their time, so. Um. That's why, that's why I cheat all the time. Hope this raccoon's not cheating. Uh-oh. Oh. Danger. Oh, let's uh let's just mulch them. Ow. I'm not mulching them as much as I'd like to. Ow. No, oh, this this haircut does not suit him. Maybe it suits him too well. Okay, goodbye. They mulch in you. Is there a death claw here or something? Oh no, they they killed something, but I don't know what. I have an eye bot. Oh, okay, well. How awkward. Oh, I don't know where that random event happened. I heard it happen somewhere. Looks well, a big explosion sound. Okay. Yep. Okay, let's just carry on for a sec. Oh! There's that. There's the random event over there, I guess. Nah, it wasn't a random event. It was just the, uh, security bot using one of its classic weapons. Fighting an albino. It's a rad scorpion. Help the robot. Oh my god. There we go. Nice. It's not like I get any experience for doing that. It's just for fun. Just for the yuck of it. Okay. Where were we? This is the diner they were talking about for getting, for meeting up. And here's our guy. Prime. Drank too much primal. Or whatever that... Is it prime? It's prime. Yeah, so the uh, Zhuanlong assault rifle is a very powerful Chinese assault rifle. It's more powerful as in I think it's like a little bit more powerful but because it's an assault rifle that like adds up really well and also its magazine is much bigger or noticeably noticeably bigger I keep hyping this thing up and then <laughs> tempering the expectations because it's it's just it's the game it's one of the guns that everyone uses in this game so it's good but how good is good has yet to be seen see something on the horizon though I can test it on Who's this? Oh, it's just an I, I bought. I'm John Henry Eaton, president of the Enclave. Yep, I bought. President of America. President. Oh, I can't use this over here. This is where Brahmin are. I thought I saw a rad scorpion. I've never used them on these guys. On these pretty gals. Moo. 
Moo, I say. Moo. Wow. Oh man, I should find out how to spawn a, a Brahmin in my house. That'd be great. Have my own Brahmin inside my house. Perfect companion. Cool. So we finished up one of the uh, one of the little quests. Nope. Okay, you, you do your thing. Looks like they're about to have a shootout. I have enough bullets to spend. Oh my god, look at all the bullets everywhere. Goodbye. Yep, we're going in. I expect to get a dog tag from this paladin momentarily. Hi there. Yeah, the big magazine on this is the best part. Uh, you. Oh my gosh. So many rockets are exploding. <laughs> Rip. Dog meat. Loyal companion. Okay. Looks like we cleared them out enough for now. Oh, hello. Cool. Uh, that these I don't I don't want to carry that stuff. It's fine. More. Love the sounds of fallout. <laughs> Goodbye. I ragdolled him. Hello? Oh. Is this an over- it is. Okay, I want to just stay, like, under his gun so he can't attack me. See, this is why we usually, uh, stealth these guys. It takes this long. And I know you don't... You probably don't enjoy hearing that, do you? All that, uh, assaulting of your senses. Sure, I'll eat all my meat. And I'll read up on Nikola Tesla. Uh, just give myself all the upgrades. Cool. Ah! It looks like I needed that. Got medics. Whoa. It, like, punched me out of his range. Nice. Mini nuke, cool. Good haul. To bunker. I don't know if I've ever been in the bunker. Let's see what it's like. <laughs> Lots of scary traps. Uh. <laughs> like if you just bump into them, they fall still. Oh hi. Okay. Good thing I got him right mid throw. Frag. Wait. There's one with a minigun. <laughs> Never mind, you got him. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Thanks for pointing that one out. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Ah! Oh, sorry. Eh. Good trap. 
Um, oh. A unique structure we found ourselves in. Okay. Ooh, I'm closer now. Oh, now I see. Yeah, that bunker was pretty small. Just went under there. Connecting this area to this area. Area. Galleria. Okay. Love it. Good little, good little place to have a little squat. Okay, let's go back here. Oh, I'm glad I squatted into position. Um, hey there. Nothing to see here, I'll... Outsider, I'm about to blow your galaxy news radio hole. Mm. Should have ended it sooner. Okay. Repair the damage uh, radio relay. Got it. You got it. Twits. Oh, such a small trash can. Why are you so small? Ding. Fries are done. POV. Uh, you're in the Washington Monument that definitely has an elevator. Does it? I wonder if it does. I, d I doubt it does, right? It's just a big marble pillar, right? I know nothing about the construction of this thing. But I would be interested in finding out more about it. You Washington Memorial heads out there, please in I inquire. Please inquire. Give me the facts. Tell me how the facts... Don't care about my feelings. Cool. The cat facts. Oh. Galaxy News Radio Relay. Install the dish. Yay, karma. Cool. Can I fast travel from here? Uh, survey says yes. Good main story you got there, Fallout. If you're looking for three doggies, I'm sorry. sorry, I can't help myself. Welcome to the Galaxy News Radio <laughs> Outpost. I'm Sergeant Wilkes, and I'm in charge here. What brings you into the DC area? Could have sworn we've spoken. Uh, what's this building for? This is the last free radio station in the entire DC area. The rest of the area. Excuse me, most radio stations are free. Propaganda. I wouldn't believe a this isn't Sirius XM or whatever. Else. Free voice of the people. What do you mean? Well, the only other station that comes through nice and clear on the radio is the Enclave station. Uh oh. All they spew is a bunch of nonsense and propaganda. Galaxy News Radio. Yeah, I spew nonsense too. Really happening. Okay. What's the Brotherhood doing here? We have a relationship with the station here. We stay in this reinforced structure and protect it from the super mutants. This is the only real safe spot in the ruins of This guy's got a radio voice. The rest of the place is crawling with those walking abominations. Makes sense why he's here. Have a port in the storm, you know? Yeah. Sure. Good luck to you. Oh, thank you. You know, maybe these Brotherhood guys aren't that bad. I feel like they can work on their, their group organization name, though. Oh, hi, Three Dogs. Sorry to wake you up. Like the good fight is gaining a new out. Hey, I wasn't right. planning on anything. The hero of the wasteland returns. Thanks, Three Dog. I was just glad to help with the good fight. Hey, you're the one that deserves all the thanks. You struck a major it's blow him. against it's three dog. tyranny. It's Cerberus. Now, GNR can be heard clear across the capital wasteland again. That'll give Eden and those muties something to think about. Uh -huh. Before I get back to my calling, I bet you want to hear about your dad. 
please tell me about my Liam, ne my Liam Neeson. Please, I miss him so much. Well, uh, yeah. No shit. <laughs> spit, spit it out of Ray Three Duck. Whoa, well, now take it easy. You ask, so I will provide. When your dad passed through here, he and I talked for a good long time. He's a real stand-up kind of guy. He He's mentioned comedian. some scientific mumbo jumbo, which didn't make sense to me. I mentioned something called Project Purity. He also said something about going to visit a Dr. Lee in Rivet City. Mm. He left in a hurry. Rivet City? Where's that? You never heard of Rivet City? <laughs> wow. Just... I know uh, about Rivet City. I've been there, you know, done all the quests of there. people got together and turned a beached aircraft carrier into a town. Pretty cool, huh? Just follow the river south from here. There's no way you can miss it. Cool. Oh, a photo of Dr. Lee. Cool. How are things now that the power is back? I can't even tell you the love I'm getting from the wasteland. Okay. It's been two ever seconds. Ever since G&R started singing again, the guys downstairs told me that more people than ever are tuning in. It's all I ever wanted. Aw. Anytime you need a place to crash, duck in here. Be glad to provide. Yay, three dogs on my side. Woo. Yippee. Yippee. Fortnite und cola. Okay. Okay, so... So I'm going to minimize the game and scream into the microphone. Ah. Let's uh, do some exploring. I want to check off some of these... Uh, some of these little uh, unmarked locations I haven't been to yet. So one of them is this... I think it's called the Throne of the Rad Roach King. Uh... It's like here. The only really, uh, like notable thing that's here is a mini nuke, but it's just a cool little place to check out, regardless. They deem it as the Roach King's throne. Got it. Okay. Yeah, another day of scavenging the wastes. I don't know what's so interesting about the universe of Fallout. It's just so fun to just run around a wasteland, finding little things to pick up. Quote unquote surviving, even though. I'm level 30 and I have more perks than the game usually lets you have. I just feel good. Brings me back some bring me back something good. Oh, I will, Jackie. As long as you don't mind your pee being irradiated, I'll bring back a Nuka-Cola Quantum. Well, I mean, uh, or your pee being luminescent at least. It's a it's a stabilizotope, okay? It's just it has a, a very healthy half life. <laughs> yeah, glowing blue pea. I'm sure everyone would have a fun time with that. Oh hello. So there's a little laser show going on. If <laughs> monster energy drinks already do that to me. <laughs> And I know you just mainline that as much as you can, so good to know. Good, good, Jackie facts. Who's fighting whom? Oh, there's an iBot. There's the throne I was talking about. Die, copper. Oh, goodbye. See, he was—he's made of copper, so. Do I hear someone? Oh god, there's, there's raiders or something here now. Oh, hi. Hello. Oh, the Roach King. It's you. Cool. He has nothing special, really. He's just a, a unique NPC. 
I'm guessing he has a. Uh, yep. Yep, that makes sense. Let's uh, let's unarm to them. It's rare when we do that. We're doing it in honor of the Roach King. Hello. I'm losing. They're also well trained. Let's do the unique animation. Oh, stop! <laughs> and that's why we never vat because it takes two hours. Oh, one's stuck in here, isn't it? Yep. Okay, got it. Is there another one here? Yep. Got a running punch. Got his ass. 100% Yerky. Oh, did I... It just became encumbered. Uh, over in, in, encumbered, cucumbered. Um, you know... Uh huh. Tempting. Cool. <laughs> There's a lot of ex uh, unexplored locations. Oh, yeah. I get bad karma for looting these because someone owned it, I guess. Any nuke, some doity water. Yep, and that was the uh, Roach King. Neat little unmarked location. It's randomly out here. Okay, so that's one. There's some concept art of this place if you look up the Roach King's throne. Find some neat little, neat little facts on the Nukipedia. Okay, so I'm getting rid of that tab. Next place we're going is the Mole Rat Race Track. Which is pretty identifiable on the map. Oh. Gonna have to restart something. It's pretty easy to tell on the map where it is, because it's like it's like uh on a highway. So the road is like marked on the map. Yep. I love when I FOV 90 from this screen. Uh, there we go. Uh huh. Move this one over here. It's right here. Yeah. Okay. So it's this way. And I'm hidden. I was saying before, there's like some, a bunch of uh, discovered locations I never really thoroughly explored up here. A lot of these, like these things, I think, or Definitely the SATCOM arrays. I definitely didn't explore those much. I don't know if I ever finished the Deathclaw Sanctuary. I, I think, yeah, that's one of the ones I'm pretty sure I just explored. Or I, I got the, uh... I got the location, but I didn't uh, actually explore it thoroughly. So that's something I'm interested in possibly doing tonight. There it is. The next of our unmarked locations. Oh yeah, this place is not friendly to me. Oh wait, hold on. We can have fun here. Just realized we, we actually have the ability to do something fun. We can just uh just hang out with the guys. See, if I just, uh, have so many of these, might as well just use one.
Am I able to uh, just walk up here and not have to worry? Then I'll crouch. Aw, caution. Lame. Whatever. Okay, well, we're just gonna auto walk forward for a sec here. Because the game won't let me just, you know, pop into existence in a fun place. Hopefully I'll get to observe them in their natural habitat. Yeah, they're like cheering. See, when I wouldn't have seen these animations. Oh yeah, they shot the bullet to go. Yeah! That one won. This one over here won. Cool. Oh, okay. I guess that one just got loose or something. Yeah, and they shot a bullet in the air to, like, say go, I think. I didn't say that al already. I'll see if they'll do it again. Mole rat racing. Oh, yeah, he's gonna do it, I think. No? Oh. Go! Cool. Yeah, Riku says they've never seen this one. Aw. Very cool. This looks like something that's just, like, a mod they would have added to the game. Not an actual... I don't think there's any reason for me to, like, disturb this, is there? I mean, they, they can just keep doing this to their heart's content. I don't mind. I'll just take some of their loot and leave. I'll have to jump and still not be detected, so... Just have some fun. Fuck it, let's just make this even more simple for us. So cool. Fun little thing we just added in. Very neat. Saving. Okay, let's see if there's any neat fact on the Wikipedia. Mole rat, two cages found. Mm -hmm. When approaching the location to witness it, be careful not to be seen, as both raiders and mole rats are hostile and will attack the character if spotted. Also, be sure to leave any followers at a place where they will be safe. Many will attack the group on their own. Oh, the pistol that they're using will always be a .32 pistol. There's an incorrectly placed texture where the walls doesn't meet and reveals a crack. Entering the crack makes the player character glitch into the ground below and makes it hard to get back up. What? <laughs> okay, so under the overpass north of where the mole rat race is, is being held, the bridge northeast's abutment has an incorrectly paced, placed texture on the wall that doesn't... Okay. Let's try that. Let's have some... I mean, we have the ability to... Yep, here's a crack. I see it here. Right, yep, I can't. Wow. So that... <laughs> this pair of... The... <laughs> I'm so glad I checked the Wikipedia. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Cool. <laughs> uh, testing my luck here by minimizing. Keep losing the chat. Okay. Oh, the new, new GeForce driver ready. Hell yeah. I love downloading that every couple days. Okay, checking that off the list. Okay, there's an unmarked location called the Musty Caverns. Um... Good name for that. 
Okay, it's located. Hmm. In a location I don't have many things checked off on, I think. Oops. Let's see here. Deathclaw Sanctuary. Okay. Two, three. Uh, uh. Kind of use the grid to help find things. One, two, three. Uh -huh. Okay, it's like in the middle of this quadrant. There's a bunch of things there that I haven't discovered in this general area. Like a cemetery too in this area that and a, and a salvage salvage they call it uh let's oh i can't fast travel with these guys there oop damn it they all were aware of me okay good i was worried i messed up their ai nope they're still doing their thing Cool. Okay, I'm just gonna walk far away from them and then teleport. Interesting terrain down here. Wonder why it's shaped like this. Oh yeah, I forgot the caravanners come here. Um, let's see anything noteworthy about Musty? Hmm. Nah, just an unmarked ant hill type location. Okay, we're good. Aw, oh, my crow. Looking to trade? It's been a while since I've talked to traders. If the clothes make the man, then here are the means to remake yourself. Sure, good. Ooh, almost have enough for another quantum. Uh. Don't think there's anything he has that I want. Another satisf He can probably repair something I want though. I have. Sure. Nah. It's fine. Morning. Morning. I'm in morning. Whoa. Okay, something's happening here. Oh my god. Oh, there's a perk, I think, that, like, just... Whoa, hello. Ravine. There's a perk that just makes your, uh... You equip your weapon faster. That's one I think I might buy soon. I mention this all the time, but... I'm giving myself this rule where if I want to get another perk, I'll just have to pay 10,000 caps every time I want to get a new extra perk. Which I think is a fair way to get rid of the caps I keep collecting. And also, uh, get more perks. I sure do. Getting lots of silly little danger things. Things. I 
become a silly raccoon getting in silly dangers. Oh, oh god, hi. Oh, uh, fuck. Shit. Ow. There we go. That helps. Really? Oh my god. I don't get experience from killing these guys, so... They can, uh, beat each other up. Works fine with me. Yeah, that's the- that's the game now. I get to- If I- if there's ways to, like, cheese killing people, I might as well take them. Because I get no incentive for killing things myself. Besides, I mean, it's, you know, it's the game, it's- I guess it's why you play, but besides that aspect. Um... There's no, like, experience incentive. The biggest incentive in this game for me now is just, like, getting an item. Unique items. Okay, did I... Okay, I did place this correctly, I think. Should be an ant coming up, maybe? Yep, ant. Good. Good sign. I mean, the main reason I wanted to come to this place is because of the name of it. I really have no reason to, like, loot any of these things, because I don't need their ant meat. And I don't need, uh... I mean, and I don't need their nectar, which will be the thing I'm collecting. Because, uh, maybe I can sell it to Lesko, that doctor in Grey Ditch or whatever. I think I can sell him regular nectar, maybe. I don't know. But yeah, <laughs> the ant, uh, ant tunnel to Musty Cavern. Oh, Jason, I love you. Hey, nice to see you. Thanks for hanging out. Glad to see you hanging. Hope you had a good trip. like really far in Fallout 3 right now. I did all, I mean, well, level-wise, my character is really, really far along, but with the main story, I've been procrastinating on that the whole time, so I've only just, like, went to the Museum of Technology to help 3-Dog. Nice. Loot. Epic. That was epic. Uh... Oh, I took a wrong turn, and now there's ants. Oh, oh darn. Monk. Yeah, you're in the meat. <laughs> Lovely sound effect. That Foley artist at Bethesda. You did good on that one. Ooh. I read on the wiki that this is, like, an, I think an identical layout to another ant tunnel. It was just a random one that they were, like, they threw in the game just because. Decided not to, not even to look, give it a location marker. Because they're like, sure, whatever. But there's another, another tunnel if they find it. Fuck it. Good for them. Direct quote from the Wikipedia. Ooh, a fusion battery. I love carrying those. Everyone who's played this game loves carrying fusion batteries. If I could... That'd be probably... Mm, it, it doesn't matter that much. I can drop them whenever. But... That's like the only real, like, mod I would... I would ever try my hardest to get in Skyrim. Is, is a mod that makes the bones and the scales from dragons weightless. Because it is such a hassle to have to, like deal with the weight of them. So yeah, that was that tunnel. There wasn't really any noteworthy loot in there, just some piles, and uh... There wasn't even like a book or something that you get in there. Okay, so... 
another thing off our list. Explored the, the musty caverns. Okay. Uh-huh. So supposedly, there's a raider shop that I can visit that's an unmarked location. It's found Dead End Alley east of the Red Rock Racer Factory. Notable loot, there's uh, two skill books, which I'm already like 100 in those two skills, but it's noteworthy. Okay. I think there's another one I'm going to try sneaking up to so I can hopefully see like some cool interactions. Like in the mole, the mole rat, fun time racing extravaganza. Uh, might have already fought the people there though. Kind of has, kind of not, hundred percent on if I have or haven't. So yeah, again, there's a lot of locations I haven't discovered here, but I think later on in the game I might just like, like, do the cheat code or whatever the the console command that. Sorry, my throat. Ugh. I might do the console command that just... That marks all the locations. As unvisited. All the ones that you haven't done yet. Just so I can have the, uh... Just so I can have them on the map and then explore them later. Um... Right. Raider shop. Okay, so it's like right here. Good. Squat into position. Okay. I'm sure there's like an. Hold on. Let's see. Dead End Alley to the east of Red Racer Factory. Uh-huh. Okay. Okay, so it's like, yeah, it's definitely here. The architecture I saw looks very similar. And I don't think I actually, uh... Don't think I actually busted this place up. So I might have a chance to encounter how it's supposed to be encountered see if their ai does anything neat animation wise so yeah it's a little uh there's this little shop over here can i get in here nope okay dog pooch quick save oh hey pickpocket you can't pickpocket them. Neat. Hey. Okay. Yoink. Good thing it's impossible to steal from them. Oh. Fog. Whoa. Two of them? Don't mind if I do. Oh, I'm cautious right now. Don't want to nudge into anyone. Yoink. And a yoink. Oh, 10 nuke coals removed. Nice. Got one quantum. Love it. There's another skill book. Yep. Got some nukes. Ooh, darts. Oh, fuck. Well. Oops. Well, I guess this has to happen now. Right? Or not. Oh. Nope. Good. Back up. I got first dibs on the loot. Okay. <laughs> Little do they know there's none left. Okay, I quick saved. I want to see. Can I talk to them? No, I can't. Okay, they'll just be hostile. Okay, well, that's fine by me. You know, I, I raided them 
I have no no intentions to harm them. Another thing we can cross off the unmarked location list. I made like tabs of like most of them that I could find the, the unmarked locations that the Wikipedia like talks about. There are probably like a handful more that I haven't explored really. Also, I don't know if I ever went inside this red racer factory. I think I might now just cause I think I like like went outside of it for because there's like a quest line here. Let's see what's inside. I don't recall this interior. Yep, and there's enemies here. Good in indicator. Okay. Cool. Um, let me just help my conscience by removing this from the list. Cool. There's like a handful of craters that we, I kind of want to visit. There's a village that's up to the north. It's like an abandoned village. It's unmarked for some reason. It has three skill books in it. There's like actual locations that I have on this list too of like places I still haven't gone to. Like Shale Bridge. Shale Bridge being uh, another anthill, but it's actually a marked one. Tacoma Industries, that's a place we cleared out, kind of, but we never actually went inside of it. There's the White House we haven't been to, which is, it's kind of punny, or it's kind of like a misnomer, because let's just say the White House is also on the list of craters. It's like three craters here on my list. There's a monorail train wreckage to the uh, west of Paradise Falls. Or no, sorry, to the east of Paradise Falls. Uh, yeah, let's do this little rocket. It's a pretty big map, really. It's it's it really is, Jackie. I'm I'm still like so surprised how much this game has to offer, and I'm also shocked by anyone who chooses the the ten percent experience boost because this game has way too many opportunities for experience that that makes no sense to use a perk point on that. Let me know, and I'm a, I'm a experienced learner hater or whatever that perk is called. Shit, my chat. Yeah, I got all spun up because I was scrolling. Oh hi! Oh, that's who's in here. I was wondering which set of enemies are in here. Oh god. What? Something not go off. Um. Okay. Don't know what that sound effect was, but it's fine. It sounded like a mine going off, but didn't actually go off. Okay. Well. Okay, so far this location, not too impressed. It's, it's unique, but not, not really impressed by what it's offering. So far I've, like, encountered five empty lockers. I guess that's realistic, finally, for the type of loot you'd expect to find in the apocalypse. Lots of tricycles, okay. My tricycle. Tricycle. I think that's a Game Grumps joke. Maybe they say bicycle in a silly way. Oh, I have, like, fusion batteries I need to drop. Like it's hot. First time I've ever made that reference, I think. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Really do not need the paint guns anymore. Cool. These things always end up floating for some reason. Finance clipboards. Oh. I'm 
Stealth Master. Ooh. Ooh la la. Creme de la creme brulee. Coal. Big ass capacitors in this thing. <laughs> Jesus. Those are probably like transformers or something else, not a capacitor. But they, they're like cylindrical, making me think of capacitors instead of transformers. Pretty sure transformers are like the coiled up wire. Components usually. Oh, their heads explode. Okay, that's something about this location. That's like... That's some weird thing that's going on here. That's probably something I'll find a terminal talking about. Wow, I haven't seen that animation. I spell glove, okay. It's like they're trying to gnaw off their, like, an explosive that's on them or something. Yep. Interesting. Something fishy is going on here. Yeah, there's like a frequency or something, I don't know. Frequency playing that's making a collar go off. Like in, uh, Dead Money or Fall at New Vegas. Oh god. Oh god. What did I pick up? Yeah, the flamer. Very heavy. Good. Sure, there's a lot of snacks I can eat. Looking good. Tasting fine. That was a really big sneeze, huh? Oh. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> it's two glowing eyeballs sitting around looking back at me. Wander. Wander Fountain. Okay, this is... Centurion is a little unique, but it's reminding me of the Robco factory. Loot. Epic loot. I have so much money stored in, like, ammunition. I can just sell off someday. I can buy myself all the perks I want. Hi. I am curious to find out the lore. Why these guys keep exploding. Hopefully it's like something that I should it's fine that's happening. And I'd want to like restart and like retroactively not want to happen each time. I don't know. We'll find out soon. Oh hi. We're like blending in with the pillar. Bong. Bong. Okay, there seems to be one more person. I do like how the flamer doesn't trigger the uh does it? Yep, it does. <laughs> Still invisible. Okay, lesson learned. And no one is the wiser.
Yeah, that, that wind-up yell is really good for stealth. Oh, okay, thank goodness I can just... I hate to actually fight this thing. Yep. The, uh, that radio I need to turn off, though. Just for copyright's sake. To be safe. And... Oh, come on. There we go. No! My loot! Thank you, TCL. Always coming in clutch. Helping us streamers. Wherever you can. Okay, what? No, what? Oh, there's just blood in there. Not, not a book. Very easily confused. Very easy to confuse the two of those, but also I am very easily confused. No, no. Cool. See one guy down there. So many little nooks and crannies. Call Tom Nook in here. Don't want to see this. Okay. Got the knife. Got the Undertale knife. Ooh. Snackies. Where are the tabakis? Mmm. Yeah. Barrel thought he was so tough. Oh god. Okay, so this guy, I want to use vats on him. It supposedly doubles the amount of damage you do with a melee weapon. Nice. Okay. Tick. Oh no, he's gonna fall. Okay, no, he's good. His AI corrected him. Good pathfinding. Damage my ass. Yeah. Another? Oh my gosh. It's, this has so many lever levers. This place has so many levels. Damn. Okay, so this guy I'm gonna hit bonk twice, and then I'm just gonna. Uh, I'm just gonna use the combat shotgun on him. Hopefully they'll be a little more bearable. There. That was much more bearable. Okay.
Damn. This is so big. I thought I was just gonna like stroll inside for a sec, but no. This place had, this place had different plans for me. Okay. Uh, more of this. That's good that he has the like scream animation thing that makes him, uh, you know, uh, stand still for my shotgunning. Cool. Okay, so. Check it. Oh. Oh. Danger. Hmm. Does he know where I am? I don't think he does. I think he's just trying to get back up there. Well, all right then. Well, all righty then. Is this the guy that I... Yeah. This guy that I dropped a while ago. His bits are still on fire. That's just a regular ghoul. Yep. What's going on with these guys? I will find out soon enough, I think. If I ever get to a terminal. Okay, whatever. It's the one other ghoul that's left, I think, so. It's fine if I just start running around now. Do a little quick save. What's the... Yep. Shish kebab out. Oh, it's up there. No, this is, then there's like two, two of them running around, I guess, including this guy. Free. No problemo. Okay. I know there's also some stuff I, I still haven't explored. Gosh dang, this place is intricate. Oh. Cool. Famous squint quote, but gosh dang. Um. Yeah, I'm getting turned around all which ways. But I know we'll find ourselves uh, a happy time. Ooh. Goodies. I love the crafting benches that are like thrown around the wasteland because it's it's so silly to think that someone will actually like come back to most of them i'm pretty i have a feeling that there's like crafting benches in this game that that the number of people that have actually interacted and used them to make something with is is like in the single digits i can't imagine most people like fast traveling back to most of the uh the crafting benches to ever like actually craft something at them because you can just have, like, have one in your house or have one like in a major city or something that you'd probably like much rather fast travel back to to get cool oh gosh there's a box I might use that for something. There's a crafting thing. Mm hmm. Uh, 
Oh yeah, I knew I was gonna drop that to team gauge assembly. Assembly the moment I got it. Okay. Okay, so this is like the entrance. Oh, hi. Oh. Gosh dang, this place is so big. Keep finding way more places inside here. Tobacco. Oh, nice. The all the essentials in the cafeteria. The shotgun shells and the tobacco. I want to jump through the window. I hear another radio? Oh. Okay, so this is where the dog pees, I guess. Oh, nice. Tried hiding those from me, didn't you? All the piles of junk a wastelander, as myself, a, a lone wanderer, just leaves behind in this game every few feet. Just so wasteful. CEO office, okay. Um. Okay, I remember being here. Oh god. Um. Caution, huh? Oh. That's unexpected to find here. Facing all these, uh, ghouls. Hello. Rip. Oh, you too? This place is creepy as fuck. I don't know how clear it is, how clear it's coming through, but there's like demonic whispering right now. I saw that like chip control thing. What horrible thing am I going to come across? I like it though, it's... it's it's setting the mood for sure. Nice. Oh yeah, right. Okay, so the chip control thing. If I just activate that, I might be able to blow everyone up. Which would be pretty convenient. Especially because I don't care about experience. Uh, okay. How about this? Nope. Okay, it's bloodlust. Great. Freaky. <laughs> right, Jackie? Uh, diary entry L2. I, uh, I have used materials from the small explosive cache I found. 
to further safeguard myself from any exper from my experiments. I have wired the building to broadcast a signal from this terminal that in emergencies will detonate all chips. I pray that day never comes. Disable chips? Okay. Oh. Yep, that's... Yep, that sounds like it's going off. Yeah. Okay. Well... Oh god, not three dog. Oh my god. There's a mad scientist here. The surgeon. Oh god. Okay, well. This is quite the situation. Oh. Good. He just walked past me, I guess. Well, this is a neat little. <laughs> situation yeah can't think of a better word for it <laughs> for some reason okay surgeon's terminal ooh telephone t -t -t overthrown damn it yeah probably overpriced good okay what other entry will there be Notes on Stefan. My masterpiece. Stefan is now under my control. The last, the latest chip I installed in him seems to have taken, and he is now mine. The effort to capture one of these glowing ghouls was immense, but finally I can take solace in the fact that I have one under my control. His limited intellect means I will have to keep him downstairs with the rest of the ghouls, but I pity the rebel that pokes their head in here now. I wonder who that is. Let's disable them. Okay. Disable the chips. Uh-huh. I need everything in my pockets, okay? There's no... There's no exceptions. out. Another safe, don't mind if I do. Damn it. Cool. Need that ashtray. I guess so, yeah. I guess if I disable the chips, I won't, they won't have control over the ghouls anymore. So that's my hope. Don't know exactly what I was trying to accomplish with that. To be fair, to be honest. Oh yeah, here's the. Ah, so if I unlock this, it'll probably attack the scientist. Nice, nice thinking, Jackie. Okay, it looks like the ghoul is the one that's in there, so I'm gonna try locking that place in a quick sec. Sucks. Dwesser. Undwesser. Oh, I do not want to pick that up. Back in business. Sludge. Oh god. Save. I need it. I wonder what the scientist's weapon of choice is. I think it was a missile launcher. Now that I recall looking in their inventory. Oh, jeez. Oh, hi.
Oh. Okay, I'm gonna drop all. I'm gonna drop a bunch of this junk. There. That's cleared up a lot of room, especially the conductors. They're five pounds each, so. I was like 40 pounds of a conductor. I think it was a rocket launcher, yeah. Okay, I've clear I've gotten most of the loot that's here, so if she blows stuff away, it won't be too bad. Oh. Nice quantum. Oh, who's this? Okay. Stefan. I disabled the chip. This just doesn't care. Okay. Um. Well then, it's less fun than I thought it would be. Yep, let's try some of this fun. Yes. <laughs> it's an insta kill. Love that. Ooh. Special, uh, unique item. Nice. Nice legs. Okay, gotta take care of the ghoul now, I guess. I'll save. No, I didn't have a unique item on him, really, so... I'll let him be. I guess I'll I think open the gate if I'm going to let him be, too. Alright, then. Well, um, that was silly. Some fallout silliness right there. I'm guessing the one ghoul that I let live downstairs, it probably got exploded now. Is the the chip disabling? If that's if I'm to believe that's what happens. Yep, because this guy uh I assume was not like that originally. ashamed of myself for me still collecting junk items. Oh, another uh, terminal. Some notes. Some stoats. Love me some stoats. Reminding. Okay. Sure. Cool. Uh, let's start from the bottom. Now we're here. Mutant chips. I've had to alter the chips for the mutants to account for their rather greater size. Okie dokie, time for me to go to bed. Good night. Night night, Jackie. Thanks for hanging out. It was lots of fun chatting with you. Have a good night. Ooh, what's this? A, a Pepsi? My name on it? Don't mind if I do. Fortunately, they exhibit a higher intellect than the ghouls, and can be... Sorry, I'm spilling this drink all over me. Um. I can be controlled with an even greater... Uh, to an even, even greater extent. The enthralled mutants have mentioned le uh, legends of even larger mutants, almost twice as big as the ones, ones I've captured. If only I could get my hands on one of those, the experiments, uh, if only I could get my hands on one of those, the experiments, the fun, the experiments, the fun, I guess. The first school chips, some of my earlier chips prototypes, C, uh, 6A and C6L have started to malfunction, causing the chips to overheat and eventually detonate the implant charge. Implanted charge. I re In retaliation, I have upgraded the P7 series and above to counter the malfunction. I've also altered the Y2 series in the 
mutants as a precaution. Ghouls are easily replaceable. Mutants are not. Says them, not me. Says. Stefan, that we're hearing moaning. Okay. I think it's time to get out of here. Ah. I'm sure I'm not missing anything that big, right? Just gonna do one more quick sweep around and then call it a call it a factory factored. Ooh. Wow. Oh. oh hello Leon. Avoid talking in your streams at first because my YouTube account is quite old and still full of my oh. Uh <laughs> well thanks for hanging out, Leon. I'm glad to see you're around. Good to hear from you. Who knows? It's Fallout 3. And I watched. <laughs> oh no. H Bomber Guy's video. He has a video on Fallout 3. Let me check it out. Let me, let me bust this video wide open. I know that guy, I know that H Bomber guy sure does get the views. I'm looking at his repertoire when I should just be saying Fallout 3. Fallout 3 is garbage, and here's why. Seven years ago, 8.8 .8 million views. I actually watched the New Vegas one, but compared to the Fallout 3 and how 3 doesn't like to tell you about things uh, in its world like Fallout New Vegas does. True. That's really neat. I want to check out those videos. I love long form videos. That sounds like a neat opinion. A neat, somewhat based opinion, as the kids say. Me definitely not being kids, and I definitely never say or tell. But I might tattle if you keep that up. I've been enjoying all the stuff I've been encountering, but yeah, I. I would like it if they gave even more, like, actual, like, building going on here. Like, a New Vegas has multiple locations and sources that can trigger the same quest line, or, yeah, connect back to other quest lines. Yeah, to, totally. Oh, I guess this is the one I know that, uh, yeah, that makes sense. He exploded. Ooh. Ooh la la. He doesn't really tell you where some even are. Yeah, there's a ton of unmarked quests that I've had to, like, look through the Wikipedia to find and then deliberately follow <laughs> very carefully. Oh, cool. More junk in here. More junk to add to my raccoon trunk. I really don't like all the unmarked locations that I had to, like, go out of my way to find. I mean, well, it's nice to... Uh, that, that's the w wrong way of putting it. I like finding them, but it's, uh... The fact that they're unmarked means it's really hard to even, like, assume that's even possible to find them. I don't know. I, uh... This, this stream specifically, I've been actually... Going through and trying to find... Or, uh, deliberately, like, look on the Wikipedia and find certain locations. You really... You kind of need a guide, exactly. Uh-huh. There are merits to, like, not needing a guide. Or, I mean... There there are merits to, like, uh, the game not telling you something if it's, like, really a game about, like, fully exploration. But the way this game is made, I think it's... I appreciate more when I can actually know a thing is around the corner. Like, I like seeing those little map markers a lot. It feels satisfying to... To actually... 
encounter, or like look to see the little blip on the map and then walk there. Yeah, that's where it is. Don't mind me, I'm just using TCL. Like a good boy, like a big boy would. I guess a good boy would too. Hmm. I feel like that's sarcasm, <laughs> Leon. <laughs> I prefer, I, I think I prefer not to know things in games I'm not going to spend a hundred hours on. I think I prefer, so, I think I prefer knowing things I, I'm going to spend, trying to, my double negative brain of mine. So like, I don't know, short ones? Yeah, okay, that's what I was thinking. From that statement, that made sense. <laughs> uh, fuck. Okay, so. Okay, we did that unmarked location. So, cool. We finally did the factory. Let's go to the monorail train wreckage. There's a copy of Duck and Cover there. It's in a fun little location. So, that's near Germantown. Near Germantown. Oh, this old ass 2008 game crashed, so that's why we love quick saving, folks. <laughs> I double clicked Fallout 3, and uh, my computer thought I wanted to change the name of it. <laughs> like, highlighted the name. Oops. Also, this being a 2008 game, they don't understand the standard of FOV90 yet, so. Yeah. No, that's so true. I wish a lot of roguelikes didn't need a wiki on alt tab. Yeah. That's, uh, that's like Binding of Isaac for sure needs a wiki. And that's why there's like, I mean, it'd be nice if it was automatically in the game, but that's why, um, there's those mods that I've seen Cody use where they just like give you a whole list of like what every item does every time you encounter one. Same with Enter the Gungeon. It's kind of annoying, not knowing what all the items do, but I've played that game enough now to know all the items. Well done. But Enter the Gungeon is way less complex than uh, Binding of Isaac, just because Enter the Gungeon has stopped being updated. To trade? <laughs> yeah, it gives you all the info up front instead of hiding it behind of an, a vague flavor text. Tell me what you need. And maybe I've got your fix. Doc Hoff my... Never mind. Okay. Cool. Uh, take my meat and my jet. Doc Hoff, please take my meat. And my cigs. And my axe. Gimli walks up and my ass. Original parody, do not steal. Thanks. Cool. Sure, sure. Yeah, just duct tape that, thanks. <laughs> yeah, get an item that says bird up. That's all you, yep. You have no idea what <laughs> has changed. What game is that? That has, uh, it's probably Binding of Isaac, like Binding of Isaac that has one that says bird up. I get that's like a joke to, uh, based on the Eric Andre stuff, but I, I think I distinctly remember the bird up. You made it up. <laughs> that sounds so accurate though. That's exactly the situation that's like. Eric Andre comes out of nowhere and one shots okay with a bottle of ranch. That's amazing. <laughs> I'm very happy about I love I love it. That's that's my favorite. <laughs> uh finally. 
get to turn out my pockets and give this locker everything I got. I love Hoarding Simulator, the game. Fisto. Human flesh. Oh, he was made flesh. A lot of odd noises outside. A lot of engine revving. Hope they're okay out there. Uh huh. Uh huh. Does YouTube do some way to show how long you've been live for? Uh, I think you've. Literally the first streamer I've watched on this site. <laughs> uh, yeah. I mean, I think the best. Okay, so because I've enabled DVR, you can actually like, uh, <laughs> you can literally like go to the beginning of the stream and then it'll tell you like minus however much time has passed. So that's one way of doing it. I don't think there's an there's an easy way of doing it. Outside of that, there might be though. But then you can come back to live and then see what I've, I'm saying now. <laughs> uh, good. Oh my god, my teddy bear collection. Almost three hours, yeah. I mean, I right, also I could just tell you <laughs> how long I've been streaming. Uh, compare it. Fuck. I'm curious. I've been streaming for... Yeah, almost three hours. Right now, it's been 2 hours, 57 minutes, and 52 seconds. Beat that, liberals. Uh... Yep. Yep, I said it. Let's see. Oh, you can check even without clicking out of live. Oh, cool. I guess that's you, like, just holding it back and then it's, like, scrubbing backwards or whatever. Uh... It's a very melodic voice crack. I'm gonna have fun and, like, decorate this episode. It's been a while since I've put down the items that I, that I hoard in this game. Okay, teddy bears. Drop one of these. Yep, nice. Perfect place. Cool. Aw. <laughs> yes. Oh, it's like a coin pusher game. This is not gonna last long. Oh god. Oh no. It's calculating. Oh no. Oh. Okay. Good. Good. Yeah. Just mouse over the progress bar to the beginning shows it. Nice. Good to know for future. A little curious about it. In the future. Oh, I wish there was like a propulsion throw in this game. Like, if you could hold down a button while you're holding an item and it would, like, toss it forward at a few miles per hour. <laughs> be very helpful. Yeah, like just holding this and, like, bam, forward. Need a, a gravity gun in this game. I love this stupid game. Collecting junk in this dumb game. Like, hardly any of them are facing me. Most of them are facing away. 
piling various random objects in the corners of your house. That's right. Objects that I have an interest in. So here's the, so far, the Nuka-Cola truck collection. Here's the teddy bear collection. Here's the pile of cars. <laughs> A little pile of toy cars. And then here's the gnome pile, which features some uh, eight balls in the center of it. This one's the biggest gnome that makes all of the rules. I've encountered a lot of people while playing this game who have the same experience where they end up just making these dumb little piles in this game for no reason. Yes. Yes. Oh, and I guess here's my, uh, my rake pile. Because rakes aren't a common item that you can pick up usually. Nice. The gnome pile is getting way out of control. They have really weird collision. Oh my gosh, this one's like standing on the others. <laughs> this won't do though, I, I need this to be more back there. <sighs> nice. It's a beautiful installation. I guess it's fine if they pile up back there too. Oh, no, oh. Oh, no, my rakes. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. I'm okay with that for now. So much trash. Interesting how Half-Life 2 is still kind of a unique game that lets you... Yeah, you can damage things with object collision. I love- I like the gravity gun a lot. Oh no, my rakes are going straight into the book of quotes. <laughs> Thank you, Leon. There's my wood chipper. It's the heaviest item in the game. 50 pounds. <laughs> just an object. It's just a random object that's oddly heavy. And also, like, shares the model of another object. Like the vacuum cleaner. I think- no, this is supposed to be the leaf blower. And it's just an object that's for sale at some junk traders for no reason. I was watching like a, a Fallout fact video and they mentioned that in that video. Uh huh. I put some other junk in this, in some of the. Oh god, this is where I have my collection of. Okay. Forgot about that. A bunch of apparel here to repair other, other things with. Oh my god, so much junk. Oh, this is where I dump the the caps I use for um because I'm max level now, I I'll I'll allow myself to buy further perks. And so five of the perks I think, yeah, five perks I bought worth of caps are just stored here, essentially out of the game. This is just a fun little collection. To remind myself. Tried so hard. Yeah, and it does not look like a wood chipper at all. I have two cow skulls at least. It took forever to angle this, by the way. This this here, if I like if I bumped into this like right now. It, oh good. It's hard to bump into it. Never mind then. I did a quick save in case I bumped into it, so I could, uh... I, I was saying, I, I, I would reset any time I would bump into those, because it took so fucking long to set it up. I have not I have played Fallout 76. Today, Seeing its beginning reception soured my interest in it a long time ago. Have you played Fallout 76? I'm curious to hear about it. Because I have no good point of reference, but I love Fallout 3 and Fallout New Vegas, so... So, there's that. Perfect condition. It's like impossible to wear down the dark gun. Um, okay, I think I'm good, finally. Good to move on to the monorail. That I did not mark. Oh no, I, I remember now. It's near... It's like here, I think. HP 
be some super mutants here. Yep. Combat. I love Bethesda combat. It's not like an amazing game. <laughs> oh, yeah, seeing my home reminded me of it, reminded you of it. Because they made a big part of that game building and establishing your own base and home. I see. Interesting. That's. I never really considered that game about. Right. That, that is an in interesting fact that I, I have an interest in, like, setting up my home. But at the same time, I don't see myself having an interest in that game. But that that's that is interesting. <laughs> how, like, uh, how there's a game in the Fallout universe that would satisfy that interest that I show through, like, piling up random junk. It's, <laughs> that's funny. That that makes me think of like, like Happy Home Designer for Animal Crossing or something, but like the Fallout version <laughs> of that. I know it's more like an MMO or whatever too, but yeah, that aspect of it reminds me of that. Ooh, so this is the unmarked location. It's a, a crashed monorail. That supposedly there's a book here. Hello. Raiders here. Okay. Line them up. <laughs> Screw this. <laughs> they were smart. Not smart enough. Rip. Yeah, I'm sorry. This is the it's the wasteland. We don't, we don't follow any code of conduct here. Frag. Riku. You're back. Full of sushi. Delicious. Yum. I love I love the sushi. You can place a a base nearly anywhere in Fallout 76. Interesting. That's cool. Maybe worth popping my head in someday. I feel like squint very round <laughs> and rollable. Yay. That is how I feel usually. Yep, so it's a crashed monorail here. Oh, noteworthy. Oh, hi. That's going on back there. Neat. <laughs> Pick a random spot in the wilderness. This is mine now. Yoink. Oh my gosh. What an epic fight. Let's be an observer. Like a documentarian, who do you think will win? I think the Rad Scorpion. You know the other thing has a laser and explosives. Yeah, no, this this bot's done. All the cleanup crew. Oh god. Narrowly avoided that. Whew. Oh. What? Okay. Um. This gun is jamming up, I guess. Please, what the fuck is happening? Oh, hi. Oh, it's... I'm glad that's over. Hi, Mel. What? Okay. Mel, what? Who's Mel? What? Oh. The, 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 hold it right there, pal. You're oh. giving me everything you own. Okay. Uh, now. I think I remember this encounter. Wow, this is a... <laughs> you could screw over this guy in... <laughs> in a plethora of ways. Back off or I'll make you regret threatening me. How about I give you five caps and you leave me alone? Bullshit, a mugger in the wasteland? A real raider would have shot me already. That gun doesn't look loaded. He's not holding one. Alright, I haven't killed anyone all day. Let's go. <laughs> let's let's do intelligence, I guess. Alright, alright. I wasn't gonna shoot you. Damn guns out of shells anyway. Oh. Look, this is embarrassing. I'm just gonna go, okay? Okay. And he's fleeing. Can't even pickpocket. Oh, and I can. I'm watching you. Okay. Feel free to watch, I guess. Mel, you are of no threat. Okay.
that was another fun little location. The monorail train wreckage. Okay, here's a here's a little list of places I'm planning to go to. I'm planning to go to the White House, the Bannister Crater, an unmarked location, the Crater ha the the Cratered Hamlet, which is an also an unmarked location, the Concrete Treehouse, unmarked, Irradiated Outhouse, unmarked, Lucky's, unmarked, and uh, that that's mainly the main places. Oh, and then like this other village that's unmarked. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's like seven places total. And then we'll have like most of my tabs that I've been keeping open for for years. Most of them will be closed by that the end of that these locations. Let's go to Lucky's. Let's let's give ourselves a little treat after all this. Lucky's is near Tenpenny Tower. It's a bunch of loot there. Oh, okay. He's supposed to be a reference to Mad Max. That's funny. Mel. Yay. Hi, Riku. Says Leon. That's funny. I didn't know that about Mel. Makes sense, though. Just the way he's dressed up, I guess. Oh, he's supposed to be holding that sawed-off shotgun. Yeah. Okay. I think something glitched out a while ago, and I, like, I originally talked to most of the people in Tenpenny Tower, but then I, I, uh, I got a glitch, so it turned out, like, all the progress I had made talking to people got erased. But, uh, I finished the Daring Dashwood quest line, at least. Cool, duck and cover. Free book. I'm, like, still at 100 on all my skills, so we're fine, but nice free book. Now what do we have here? I'm trying to go to Lucky's, which is that, like, one of those two stores over there. We got a location here. Oh, okay. Oops. Um. I see who it- this is like the place- It's one of the places, uh, this is where the, the Tenpenny quest line is. Um. Good. Nice. There's the train yard where the the ghouls are. Oh gosh, this uh this actually did have an outside wasteland. For some reason, whenever I think of this game, I can only think of the capital. Oh yeah, uh huh. I know, I know that feeling well. No, yeah, there's a there's a lot of wasteland here. But oh my god, I was for like three five ep three to five episodes worth of content of this. I've been stuck in metro systems. There's so many, gosh darn metro systems in this game, and it's maddening how all of it looks the exact same. So it feels like you're making no progress wherever you go. <laughs> It's a bad time. I have nightmares thinking about getting lost in those systems. Just trying to scrape every nook and cranny to see if I've actually went this way or not. That's two Warren stations. Oh, it's the train yard in the station. Okay. Here's Lucky's. Special pair of sunglasses here that give you plus one to luck. Oh. Oh, oh it's a scavenger. Cool. Okay. I would like to listen to some of the three dog bits, but it's fine. 
Lucky shades. Ooh, missiles. What? Caution. Why? Yeah? Hi. Uh... Okay. Good, good loot. Good for you. I'll sell some stuff off. Tat, take my ant meat beer. Yum. Good. Give me a shout if you need anything else. Uh, sure. Repair his shades. Good. Goodbye. Just a yeah, just in a big maze. Fallout seventy six doesn't have quite the varied map. Oh. Oh, I get randomly attacked once I go outside. Okay, Riku. That's a good why good reason to be on caution, I guess. Um, well I'm invisible, so maybe she won't see me take stuff. Nope, she doesn't. Good. Oh, now I'm no longer caution. That's nice. Lots of cherry bombs. God, so you take stuff though. Oh god. It's true. The karma system's letting me know God saw stuff. Oh. Oh. He's so puny. He's so tiny. I can't believe I almost missed him. Leon saw you take stuff though. Leon did. He didn't see nothing. Even with my flashlight on. You darn rube. Why don't you look where you're going? Why don't you continue not seeing me? Oh, you actually detected me. Okay, now I don't. Up, 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 up. Nice. Don't need it. There's a book behind them. Let me just, excuse me, up. Uh... Oh, camouflage, that'd be fitting. Nope. Domination. Nope. Uh, automobile. Okay, great. Love it. Need it. Gotta have it. Cold Stone Creamery. H have you ever been to Cold Stone Creamery and the, the sizes? Uh -huh. Oh my god, there's Yagwai too. Uh, uh, um, uh, uh. To the sound effect. Quite the bloodbath, huh? I feel like this all could have been prevented somehow. Moving on. <laughs> Riku's in shambles, oh no. Oh, I never did the Dunwich building. That's a fun one. Oh, and I mean fun, I mean horrifying and scary, so maybe we should do it. That'd be a fun little thing to bring into this episode. I've decided to call these episodes now. Ah, I just sniped ten penny. Phew, dead. Cool, maybe we'll do the Dunwich building. The Dunder Mifflin building.
lit. It's actually lit. I'm not joking. Please, someone, put me out. That's where they made the office? That's right. I've heard actually taking these skill books past level 100 actually still increases your skills. And uh, if you get like negative status effects, it'll keep your skills still at 100 if it goes like low enough, you know? So if if I had like, um, if, if I had enough skill points to have like 105 unarmed through like skill books, if I get something that reduces my unarmed by five, it'll still be a hundred, even though like right now it just shows a hundred. So it might actually be like 105 or whatever. And if I get bad status effects, it'll still stay a hundred. If I have enough points in it to negate the status. Yeah, okay, let's do this. Oh my, oh, hello chest. What is it? Hello? Oh, hi. I feel like I should have given them more of a, a fair shot. Ow. Okay, fine. They got one shot in. How about that? Seize my chest for the first time. Look, I had a reason I had to do that, okay? It's an internal struggle, that's why. Uh. Good. Wow. Oh, no, don't load. I'm Oopa. Fuck. Holy cow. Is the mool. Okay, Maple, just so you know, this is a scary place. Just the, the Dunwich building. The, the Dunwich building. Ah, I don't like scary. Not for Moopa. Oh man, there's a lot of entries here. Okay, this will be neat. Let's get them in order, if we can. One, two, three, four, five. And what's gearing me up? Yeah, this is like a place that's kind of just a horror place in this game. It's quick saving often. Okay. Why the hell would he come all the way out here? Dad's been a little nuts for some time now, but not like this. Leaving me in that crappy old hospital without waking me. Without a goddamn flashlight. I made enough selling the meds we scrounged to have kept us both fed at the colony for weeks. Now I'm almost out of rations. My shoes are rations. Much destroyed and I'm still chasing the old coot. By my last reckoning, he was headed south. Maybe I shouldn't have waited so damn long to start tracking him. Trail's gone cold. I'm gonna wander with these guys a while. They say they wander the area. Maybe somebody's seen Dad. No, <laughs> Jamie's on a mission like I am, I see. These guys aren't who I thought they were. Jesus, they killed that family. For a sack of rotten vegetables. Getting out of here next chance I can without catching a bullet. Spooky. Hit a caravan today. Trev didn't see the kid and got popped. I took care of Tawny right then and put one in Thor before he saw her fall. That earned me some grub from the traders. Hmm. Even better, they saw Dad. He was in pretty rough shape and still has the goddamn book. The trader says it gave him the creeps. Me too. Oh. But it's good to know he's still alive. Still headed south. Talking about a book. He must have been trying to trap food here. I recognize his snares. I can make out a building on the horizon. That must be where he headed. If not, at least I get a roof tonight. Oh, gosh. 
I am liable to scream. Thank you, avoiding copyright. Six. Don't like the look of this place. Don't like the smell. Gives me the creeps. Don't want to risk a shot at the crows till I know what's in there. Sneaking in tonight. Like me. Although I feel like I'm sneaking a little bit better than he did, considering uh, the invisibility. That's not good. Okay. Oh, oh. Ouch. That was bad. That was annoying. There. Good live reaction of me crouching invisibly. I'm already turned around. Oh, I'm so sneaky. What happened here? Up, up, up. Thank you. Quantum. Quantum. I should really hotkey these things. Okay, let's, uh... Six. Seven. Eight. I shaved. I did a shave. Like these long hallways. Wonder if I'll like avoid some of the the encounters by crouching as I am. Hmm. Wonder if this terminal's real. The fake terminals in this game are so silly and easy to see. Okay. Good dead end. Do my fries deceive me? Uh. What? Oh, I forgot that button. This one works the way I like it to. Yep. This DLC armor really does break this game. No doubt about it. Goodbye. Who's next? Who's got a problem with this raccoon? Who's next? Oh, got lucky. Got to live for two more seconds. Guys who were here last were really expecting whoever to 
come here to like inspect all the terminals, I guess, because there's like all these false terminals everywhere. Oh goodness. Sus. Great ph great Greek philosopher, Susocles. Oh. Okay, so I've heard that joke before. I want everyone to know I've thought of it before too. I'm that clever. To to, to think that sus could be turned into Susocles. I know, I know. I'm very humble. Oh, okay. That doesn't happen often in this game. That's not supposed to happen, and that does make me frightened, if I'm going to be honest. The fact that that actually closed behind me just feels not right. And I, I really don't want to continue anymore because I'm scared. Oh. Uh, we look away. Oh god, if I look away, it's into the capture, so I'm, I'm seeing it. My heart. Oh, nice. I'm actually going in order somehow. Empty syringe. Okay, whatever. Oh, I don't want to do this quest anymore. I don't like it. It's the only time I'm scared in this game, because I know this is when it gets scary. Oh, okay. The raiders told spook stories about zombies in the ruins. Never saw anything like that where I come from. Lord help me. They're real. Not quite what Thor said, but close. These things look... I think they really used to be people. Okay, I'll come back here in a sec. Let me check the other path that I didn't fully explore. I don't think I fully explored it. No, I guess I did. hear little noises every so often. Okay. Hmm, do I have to play this part anymore, folks? This raccoon's so squeamish. And I have a horror game I'm playing on Thursday. Why did I do this to myself? I know me and Saint are going to be ripping into it the whole time, but still, it's still a horror game and it's going to make me squeamish at parts and I'm going to be so scared. Be strong, raccoon. I'll do it for Moopa. <laughs> like squeamish is the wrong word. I'm skittish, like skitty from Pokemon. Like skittish. Skitty. <laughs> Sk <laughs> skittish like skibbity from Pokemon. Oh god, here it comes, I think. Damn, I'm looking at the capture gun. Ah! Okay, it was less scary than I remember as a kid. <laughs> I 
guess the fact that you really aren't expecting it is what makes it scary. So that was a fun little flashback that revealed a ghoul. Feeling less scared now. I uh, it's it's like not okay, I would say not too long ago, I overcame a fear of mine that I had since I was a little kid, which I was pretty happy I finally got over. Because I watched it and I, I liked it a lot. Um I was very afraid of the the show Don't Hug or the the mini series or whatever on YouTube, Don't Hug Me, I'm scared. Just because the the vibe of the first one creeped me out so much when I was like, you know, a really young kid. So I'm glad I got gave it a second chance. It's just getting getting past that little beginning hump. It's all you need. <laughs> and now I don't feel as scared about this series, this uh, this building. Uh, about auto dic dictation software, sure. H. Gregor. Okay. Ten, oh wow, this is right when the bombs are falling. Yeah, ten eighteen. Oh, it's just gonna, this is gonna be sad. Coughing. Memo to sales staff. In recognition of, excuse me, an exemplary quarter, Mr. Statham has authorized me to release sales staff early for the holidays. And intelligible, it was no easy task to release a new acoustic borer to the market using uh, used to conventional bit bore drilling system but thanks to uh but thanks your hard work and unintelligible acoustic bore drills are setting a new standard in the excavation industry coughing <laughs> thanks for uh to your many private sales and uh procurement of government contracts will all be in a the black for the foreseeable future. Happy holidays from Mr. Statham and Dunwich uh, borers. Now get home to your families. Applause. Oh goodness, unintelligible. Brrr, unintelligible. Notice to user: Page Soft LLC recommends against sustained recording in a low frequency environment. Continued use in this manner avoids all hardware warranties. Auto dic dictator. Okay, I was an auto dictator. I understand now. Like, I get it. Dictate for you. Um, notice user recommends against sustained recording. Interesting. This year, whatever the year this was, uh, March twenty seventh, two thousand one hundred thirty four. What the hell is that? Doesn't matter. Doesn't doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Deep deep breathing. Where is it? Where Im impact sound? Paper crumple. There there. Paper crumple. Safe and sound. Jesus, they bled so much, but I kept it clean, 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 clean. Unintelligible. Unintelligible. Shit. More. Got to move. Got to keep it safe. Keep it secret. Keep it safe. Deep breathing. My skin. My skin. Really, any left? One of them now, but they know I still have it. Stay back. One of them now. I guess it was one of them. No. Uh, stay back. Back you. Deep breathing. It's close enough. Door. You and you too. Over there. Yes, yes. One of us. One of us. <laughs> Ugh. Cool. Thoth is returned. <laughs> Unintelligible. Creepy. Liquid dripping, Ooh, that demon, I guess. Unintelligible, Oog, Quailoth, Quiltoth, Quiltoth. I came, I came, haha. Uh, back this time, Deep Temple, Unintelligible, Screaming, Twisting, Unintelligible, Impact Sound, No Light, No Flesh, Unintelligible, Deep t Temple, Born, Deep Temple, Died, uh, them again. Unintelligible. Returned. Returned. Unintelligible. Retribution. Notice. Internal memory capacity reached. The rocking sound in the background is really adding to it. Yeah. 
This is it's finally the actual mood. I feel like we've heard that soundtrack a lot. Oh god, I forgot it wasn't right. I'm in a building full of ghouls. We we hear that soundtrack a lot. That soundtrack a lot in this game. That just like background creaking ambience, but I feel like this is the first time it's really been appropriate. Oop. Wow, just parkouring while crouched, no big deal. Dead. No big surprise. No, this guy will be easy. There. Uh, oh, there he went. Cool, another pretty big hit. Okay, I knew I was- I said I was gonna hotkey them, and I did, but... There we go. There, now I'll remember to switch between them. Okay, so my understanding is this- this- a uh, company was a boring company, or they would bore into the earth. And, uh, they probably found something while they were boring in the earth. Something deep and ancient. Okay, we're back. Ah, real monsters. Maple would never be caught dead saying that reference. Okay, we're back. <laughs> Maple says it at least once a month. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, I only have 145 of these left. No. Oh. oh. Oh my. Spooky scary. I just I can't tell if it's the physics fucking up or if it's trying to be scary with dropping things everywhere. Being this game. Um it's it's a kind of a safe bet to say the physics, but I feel like that was deliberate. It was trying to be scary, yeah, I think it was too. Snare. Tortoise and the hare. Uh. Plans. No. It's, uh. Maybe it's heart. It's heart. This place is supposed to be haunted. I, oh, I know, Riku. Oh, I know. Data entry. Here I am, trapped in a room by myself, typing on a terminal, trying to keep myself busy. Hell, trying to keep myself sane. I don't know what it is about this place, but I want to get out of here. Yeah, get out of here. I can't even bring myself to open the damn door again. I hear those things wandering around outside, sniffing, screaming, doing whatever they do. When I first get out of here, when I first got here, I thought the place was abandoned, and... Went around looking for anything to scavenge. Five minutes later, I'm in this room, scared half out of my mind. Things started chasing me. I fired a few shots, missed, and ran through the darkness. Ah, shit. Told old Billy to meet me here and bring some extra ammo and grenades. That was three days ago. Poor guy probably didn't make it too far. Those things better have give the better have given him a quick death. Listen to me, You're babbling like a damn fool. Billy's all right. I'll be. St I'll just stick here until those things go away and meet up with him. Ha! That's what a story I have for him. Rip. Ooh. ooh. <laughs> Why? Why the coffee pots? <laughs> it's always the coffee pots. Cause I need the caffeine. This raccoon need is a fiend for the caffeine.
Damn it, I, I did this already. I'm just walking in circles now. And cows. Cows aren't safe with them. That's, that is true. They're liable to, uh, raccoon handling. Oh, I thought this was a place I had to go. Oops. Finally. Okay, it's here. Jesus. Oh, I haven't used the bath bomb yet. Riku's told me they've uh, spin brushed their <laughs> tub, so bath bomb use is imminent. I'm going to in a bit, yeah. I haven't used mine yet. But I could use it to get on Stinky soon. I think I'll use it to get on Stinky this next time I do. Whatever that process is called. B bathing? Washing? Um, I've heard of it before. Good. <laughs> uh huh. Sure am uh, prancing around these corners. Hi. Oh, the horror. Got him. Got his ass. 100% your kid. No chance. I ain't afraid of no ghosts. I definitely haven't been afraid of them at all so far. I've been totally brave the whole time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you for not being the max level one. Okay. Oh. Okay, I see they're in there. That is a place I like unlocked but didn't really go to yet. Okay, it just turns, I see. Wow. Split them in half. Yeah, I know what I said. Ooh. To the vir virulent under chambers, huh? Okay. I mean, I am used to my to some virulent under chambers. Oh my god. Ooh. Have I read entry eight? No, I haven't yet. God help me. I found Dad today. I didn't think it was him, but the face. The zombies didn't touch him. I think he was becoming like them. Didn't know it was him until I found that old book near him. No more killing. I just need to go. Can't forget the book. All I have left of him. It's warm against the stone. I'll... I'll just rest a while. Oh, <laughs> I'll just rest a while. <laughs> Sharp knife. Sharp knife to send him to Deep Temple. Play and say my words. Abdul comes again on the feast of the weaker. Feast uh, for the Deep Temple. Oh. And again. Here. al Hazarad. Yes. Yet. That's good. That's uh, I like how 
essentially, we heard the voice of, like, the guy who does the ghoul voice. Most of the male ghoul voices. But we heard him, like, how he sounds without the filter. Apparently. Because we switched to it by the end. Pog. I like his voice. Oh god. Being so sneaky. Oh, hello. Yummy radiation. I'm gonna just, you know... For a sec. I want to check if there's anything up here. <laughs> Whoa. Master of ruining the illusion. Float around here for a sec. Sure. Okay. So glad I don't have to deal with this. I think I knocked the ghouls onto a body that's like an interactable body? No. Okay, I thought that body was like. Could, uh, take slang off of it. Never mind. Ooh. Gets very ra radioactive down here. Keeps going down, down, down. To Goblin Town. Down, down to Goblin Town. Ho ho, oh my lad. <laughs> Everyone out there, please watch the Hobbit Rankin Bass 1977 animated film. You will not regret it. Near the end, Gandalf calls treasure, treasure. And it is so worth it to get up to that point where he says treasure. It's going to be a brave boy. <laughs> oh, hi. Well, that's another path. So you're talking about treasure will get me through this. Oh! I get the melee bobblehead. Oh, that's perfect. I think that's the only thing that I, I'm uh, not 100 at right now. Wow. What a nice little prize. It's important to do business up close and personal. Oh, yeah. Cool. Okay. It's over here. Oh, hello. So easy, you could so easily skip this by accident. Ah. Oh. Was it worth a quick save? Hi, Jam uh, Jamie. <laughs> it sounds like the same sound that was being made uh, in the red... Racer factory place. Spooky scary. Hmm. 
<laughs> I completely forgot about the Eldritch Cult, yeah. This weird thing down here that was excavated. Um, I'm gonna save, make a good regular save file. Just, uh, do, you know, some, some research on what, what could happen here. Um, done, which... Building. Oh, yeah, it has one of the point lookout add-on, yeah, you can burn a book there. Okay. Ah. Uh-huh. Just reading some stuff. Neat. Okay, so this is part of the quest line. That's for uh, Point Lookout too. What if you kiss next to the shrine, JK? Unless, aw. What if? Ooh. -woo. Okay, cool. As you can guess, the game did, uh, in fact, glitch. <laughs> I missed that meme, JK. Unless. Well, I'll let them have their fun. You know, they seem to be hurting no one. I got the loot from the, the ammo crates. We'll deal with them when we need to some other day. I had a good time getting here. I was here for a good time, not a long time, and I, I feel like I got that from this experience. Did give me a fright. Nice. Thank you for exploring the Dunwich building. Please exit the way you came in. Don't let the door hit your ass on the way out. Hasn't that always been a fun phrase? Phrases alluding to doors hitting asses. Anyway. But free gun. Free gun. Is there a free gun? Oh, is Jamie has a gun or whatever. looking stuff up again on the uh the wiki jamie who is armed with a chinese assault rifle counts as positive karma if you kill him Okay. Neat. Okay. Let's go to... Let's have some fun at the irradiated outhouse. There's one nuke qu quantum inside of there. I think I've already been there before, but... Located south-southwest of... Chased... Acres Dairy Farm. Okay. Dairy Farm mentioned. Cow mentioned. South Southwest. Hello, everyone. 
Okay, we'll have fun with that. Um. Oh my god. What the fuck is happening? Sorry, jeez. I wish I never teleported here. It didn't mean to kill everyone. There, you. The natural enemy to the rad scorpion. Good. His tail got broken up. Oh god, this a chain reaction of cars is about to happen. Okay. Yoink. No? Okay. This is not the irradiated outhouse. There's a different one. That's what our main target is right now. Ow. Okay, I think we've already raided this place in the past. Uh, south, southeast. Pretty sure it's not too far from it. I think this is it right here. Oh, it's a robot. Here we are. <laughs> Great. Nice quantum. Sodies. Oh god. the bubbling sound. Neat. Alrighty then. Laser versus laser. Goodbye. Okay, so that's another unmarked location checked off. The concrete tree house. Okay, near Andale, between Andale and the Fairfax ruins. Good old Andale. Let's go right around here. Welcoming Andale. I think I might call it uh, soon on the Fallout segment, not too much longer from now. I feel like I got a lot of fun progress done. Did I ever... Oop. Oh no. There. Oh, no, oh, let's go here. I'm looking for an unmarked location known as the Concrete Treehouse. I think it's there. Yeah, it looks like it. There's a junk Junkyard Trader Tales book there. Tale of a Junkyard Trader. Or Jerky Town Trader? I forget the name. Something like that. Oh, there's a lot of fighting here. Well, that's something. Uh-oh. Uh, nice. Dad. Ow. 
Oh, you're a good boy. Okay. Okay, I guess whatever was going on here is taken care of. I'm like physically sitting up in my seat to see better. Okay. Nice. Cute little place. Slightly fenced off. Up two thirds of the way there. You can keep your gnome, your special gnome. Here it is. Yeah, Tales of a Junkyard Jerky Vendor. That's what it's called. Hi. Yeah? Yeah. Sure. Ooh, give me the skull. And I guess I'll buy one if you have one. Sure. Need to get that out of my inventory. Having a full repaired thing is not useful because you can't really repair other things with it. Nah. Good. Okay. I think I'm tempted to, like, continue a little bit on the, the main mission. And then call it a fallout for tonight. But, again, let me just, uh, do my thing. Deleting another tab. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I have seven tabs open. Wait. Yeah, seven open for fallout now. One of them is Gallows Humor. It's a unmarked quest that's uh, relevant after I've gotten into the Citadel. That I never really did. There's Shade Dale or Shade no, not Shade Dale. Shade Bridge, which is a an ant hill I want to check out. I have Tacoma Industrial, which is a location I discovered I haven't checked out. The White House, a uh, Barnister Crater, Cratered Hamlet. And this wasteland village that's to the north. Or I think it's to the north. Looks like it on my map. But yeah, well, those we, we can tackle those next time. For now, we'll just uh, just want to continue a little bit onto this quest, and then we'll be good to go. With all these DLC quests that I have not even nudged at yet. Not too many regular quests left, actually. Finally running out of ammo for that gun. For this gun. No. Oh. Hi, everyone. Gain entrance to Rivet City, talk to Dr. Lee about Dad and the Project Purity. Oh, but let, let, let's let's sleep for the night. Welcome to the Weatherly. Uh, room. Yep. Excellent. Simply venture into the hallway. Thank you. There's so many caps. 120 is nothing to me. Uh. That's not who I meant to go into. There we go. Great, I got six caps back. Oops. Uh, I want to go to, like, morning. 9 a.m. 9 a.m. Waking up in the morn.
Gotta be fresh, gotta have my cereal. Don't touch the vegetables. They're fragile. You need me? Or what? <laughs> I know about Dr. Zimmer, who I've already killed. Other than him being an egotistical, arrogant, condescending pain in the ass? Nothing. He's from the Commonwealth. He's come looking for some special robot. I must admit I'm rather curious, but I have other work to do. And I'm rather curious. So long. Farewell. Fine slab. Hey. Hey, Henry. This place could use a few more people willing to work. Hey, Garza. Please excuse me. There is much. What do you do around here? I help Dr. Lee when she needs equipment moved. I am no scientist. I just help with the heavy things. Nice. Falling apart. Goodbye. I'm the only one willing to fix it. Good to see you. Cool. Let me just fast forward time for a sec. Okay. Some people are in such a hurry. What do you want? Good to see I'm you. I'm busy. I've got a lot of repairs to make. Just want to see all the NPCs in this location. If you could move out of okay. the way, why don't you look where you're going? I'm going to make a nice little save here. Be careful around I totally remember taking all those vegetables worth more to us than you are. In, in my first playthroughs of this game. Just swiping them all and eating them. Never I needed the healing. Look for my father, have you seen him? I did see a man talking to Dr. Lee, but I really shouldn't be discussing it. Hmm. She's already in a bad mood. I'd hate to make it worse. You should probably just talk to her about it. So I wonder if Simmer's bodies are still here. Simmer and his nope bodyguard. They've despawned. So fresh. Fresh. Hey talk to Lee last. Did she just munch one of those? Did you? Hey there. Hey there. <laughs> I'm looking for my father instead. Of, sorry. Don't want to talk about sex right now. Is Dr. Lee as smart as they say she is? She's certainly head and shoulders above most everyone else around here. Though, that's Moira not saying much. Moira voice actress. Actor. What do you know about Dead Zimmer? He's from up north. He was bragging about how great it is up there. Yeah, great. They can't even keep tabs on their robots. Oh, the robots. Looking for my father. Look, some of us are trying to get work done here. There have been enough disruptions recently. Anybody coming through here would have to talk to Dr. Lee. Why don't you go bother her about it? Okay. You hear about the fight on the muddy rudder last night? Yeah. Yeah, no, I'm gonna just go over here for a sec, sorry. Where is Liam Neeson? Where's Papa? He's busy playing uh goat simulator. Just had to think of what simulator game. That's why I'm glad I need Hello. Nothing's penetrating these walls. Okay, I'm done being around the bush. This radiant dialogue. I heard about that. They're trying to help other slaves escape too. Good for them. I think slavery is horrible. What do you want? What up? Yes. We're based stance. Look, this is a restricted area. I'm tired of telling you people. I. My it's heavens. You. My heavens. You look so much like him. You're James's son, aren't you? What are you doing here? Wait. How do you know who I am? Have we met? Fun fact. I think she's the lady who. Uh, who, who helped us. <coughs> Sorry, dying. Um, I'm pretty sure she's the lady who was there, like, helping my mom give childbirth. Uh. You were too young to remember, and I suppose James never spoke of me. Typical. I am Dr. Madison Lee. I worked with your parents many years ago. Now I run the science lab here in Rivet City. She's speed running these. I had left. These dialogues. When your mother died, your father decided to leave with you. He abandoned our work. 
We had no choice but to do the same. Can you tell me more about my parents? I suppose so. I worked with them for several years until... Until your mother died and your father decided it was time to leave. What else do you want to know? Uh, more about my life story, from your perspective. I never knew my mother. What can you tell me about her? Yes. Your mother was... Well, she was a good woman. A very dedicated scientist. Your father loved her very much. Aww. It was a shame that she died. She had been excited to meet you. Uh, why did my mother die? What happened? Complications from childbirth. None of us were expecting it. We weren't as prepared as we could have been. You have to understand, we were struggling with scavenged derelict equipment. We did you everything. You actually find the the room you were born in, <laughs> the the doctor's room you were born in. I think in the uh, the Project Purity building, in the basement, uh, where that's like overrun by mutants or whatever. So I like this profile of this lady back here. Just noticed it. It's a nice, like, Abraham Lincoln Penny profile there. Uh, yeah, I'm sure you did everything you could. I understand. Yes. Well, uh, I'm sorry it wasn't enough. Oh. Okay. Yeah. What was my father like back then? James? My papa. He was very driven, determined to change the world. Well, we all were back then, I suppose. He hmm. was focused on two things, really. Making Project Purity work, and your mother. Hmm. When she died, I think... I think he gave up. I know he wanted to keep you safe. But I think part of what he did was run away. But it seems that he Dad's never am I really right? was able to get over the idea. I'm frankly shocked that he waited all this time and wants to try again. Let's talk about something else. Okay. I thought it said I'm trying to fix my father. Have you seen him? Uh, can you tell me more about my parents? What do you want? I love that uh, unhighlighted, that highlighted uh, dialogue where it's just like going back to the same tree you've already exhausted. I'd like to know a bit more about you. What? Well, I, I'm not sure what there is to tell. How do you have such a stylish I, haircut in this we apocalypse? Together for a long time, I, I think we were really on to something. So stylish. But then there were complications. The project was abandoned and your father disappeared. I returned here to Rivet City and established the lab you see before you now. The lab. The Labrador. Tell me about this project you worked on with my father. Project Purity, we called it. What do you want to know? What's the point of this hacking thing? It was simple, really. Fresh, clean water for everyone. Such a simple idea and yet so impossible to realize. The plan was to build a facility that could purify all the water that one in the tidal video you basin showed me, Maple, about No radiation, like... no muck, just clear water. It just turned out to be more difficult than we anticipated. That that video that's like the abridged version of like Fallout or Fallout, Fallout 3 and Fallout New Vegas. That guy who has like the thumbnail of like the, the Chad, uh, like Vault Dweller. Uh, Big Beak Entertainment. Love him. Yeah, that guy. Thank you. Uh, he, uh, I, I remember him having a very funny point about, like, free water in the post-apocalypse. <laughs> I'd like to rewatch that one again. Aw, I can watch it over and over. It is very fun. But just her saying that, like, free water for everyone, I remember him saying, it's like, stu like, very realistic about it, like, how that's, like, the, the least concern or whatever in the fight. <laughs> Like, people are there's still super mutants everywhere. <laughs> uh, why didn't it work? <laughs> we had the basic principles down. We understood most of the science behind it, but the radiation in the area is so pervasive. Small-scale tests were fine. But any time we tried to test the process on a larger scale, it was just... Too much. Too much. Maybe if we'd had more time. Or better equipment. Why'd you stop working on it? What happened? You happened. Oh, it wasn't shit. It just you. We had more problems than we could handle already, but your birth is what finally pushed it over the edge. <laughs> your father decided that you were more important than everything we'd been working for. So he, <laughs> he left all of us. Damn. Once he was gone, the Brotherhood decided it's we were not going to fault. anymore. 
I love being the protagonist. The purifier. I'm just avoiding the subject so hard. <laughs> what is this lab? What are you doing here? <laughs> this is the Rivet City Science Lab. It's taken many long years to put together, but we've done well for ourselves. Our work on portable fusion power and hydroponics are coming along quite nicely, if not quite according to schedule. Hydroponic. Bubonic. Uh, chronic. What do you know about Zymer? Oh, that man doesn't have you looking for his pet android, does like he? Like this guy's fresh I've cut. I already told him to lay off it. He's distracting my entire team. Okay. Well, trust me, he's no bother anymore. What kind of place is this rivet city? Rivet City is one of the few bastions of civilization left in the land. We're working to rebuild our society, to make the world livable again. Try to find Papa. Have you seen him? You mean you haven't? I assumed he sent you here. Uh-oh. For that matter, aren't you supposed to be in a vault? James yes. said he left you there. It's true. This isn't this ain't about me. It's about my dad. Now, where is he? Your father is no <coughs> longer here, and I'd appreciate it if you didn't use that tone with me. Hmm. I'm sorry. Can you please tell me where he is? Your father insisted that we return to work on Project Purity. I tried telling him too much time has passed. There's no way it would work. Hmm. Predictably, he refused to listen to me. He says he can prove it will work and head it off to the old lab. Ooh. I'm sorry. I don't know what else to tell you. Where is the old lab of yours? It's in the old Jefferson Memorial Building, ah, that's northwest the northwest of here. J Jefferson. Please, don't go after him. It was foolish of him to even think I guess where about I'm going. going there alone. <laughs> don't go to him. Can you remind me where my father went? <laughs> the last I knew, he was headed back to the lab at Project Purity in the old Jefferson Memorial Building. I still say it's dangerous, and he shouldn't have risked it. Immediately, oh, guess. <laughs> yes, Fable. Is there any way you can help me out? Please. Look, I don't want to be harsh, but I have problems of my own. <laughs> Fair. I don't have the resources to support James's foolish endeavors, or you're chasing after him. He is foolish. I'm sorry. Okay. Oh, heck. Come on, isn't there anything you can do to help? I suppose I can spare a few stim packs. Stimmies. Not much, but it might make things easier for you. Thank you. Okay. Good luck finding your... Okay, so... Now that I finally continued the quest line here, I finally feel safe to, like listen to some of these notes I never opened back in the day. Let's see if I can find them. Yep, Project Purity 1. We're back at work after a full week of delays. A Brotherhood soldiers were able to repair the sentry guns, much to my relief. Morning. I know Madison isn't comfortable having them here, but no there's no denying to report, I assume? lost without them. We're still waiting on the full analysis of the last three small-scale purification tests. Catherine hasn't been feeling well, and it's slowing down our research. I don't mind, but I can tell that it's bothering some of the others. Okay, before I continue past Project Purity Note 1... I want to see... how many there are, and how many... okay. So, okay, so I have all of them except two of them, which are the Je Jefferson Memorial sub-basement in the medical room. Project Purity Personal notes there are eight entries in this series. Better days and unmarked unnumbered tapes, others do not exist. Okay, so there's more different tapes. The Project Purity Personal Journals are uh, also in the Jefferson Memorial. Better days can be found at a coffee table in the same room next door. And also, <laughs> yeah, a few more in the Jefferson Memorial Rotunda. Better days. An additional personal note is located Project Purity Journal 0 through 3, a small table next to the bottle of scotch. This tape has Catherine, the lone wanderer's mother, recording her stats on the project. Aw. Neat. Okay, anyway, so yeah, okay. So, listening to these are, like, there is only 
of these tapes, pro number one, three, five, seven, and eight. So, yeah, the other two are at the memorial, like I said. Well, there's no more mystery behind Catherine's health problems. The news of her pregnancy has lifted the spirits mm. of everyone here and given us a renewed interest in making the purifier work. We now have a future generation to provide for. The latest tests show that our methods are horribly inefficient, but I think we're on the right track. Catherine refuses to rest. She insists on spending all day in the lab. I've never seen her more driven. She's determined to resolve the power problems before the baby is born. I've tried to reason with her, but it's no use. The team has made plans to scale back our work once the baby is born. They're also trying to compensate for the increase in mutant attacks. No one is really talking about the implications of it. There are more of them than before. We know it, and the Brotherhood soldiers know it. Our relationship with the Brotherhood is straining. They're concerned by the lack of concrete results from the project, especially Just in like NASA. Of attacks. They haven't come out and said it, but we all know what's going on. They're questioning whether their involvement in our project is worth the trouble it's causing them. Mm. They lost two good men this week, with three more injured. Alrighty. Okay, I think we're gonna go to the Jefferson Memorial. So noisy last night. I could hardly sleep. Maybe a quick fix has something that will help you sleep. Cindy's got all kinds of good counts. I'll try that. Um, anyway, uh Yeah, I think I'm just gonna... Ah! Four things. I'm so sorry I had to spawn here and kill you. God, the humanity. Okay. Yeah, well, I keep distracting myself. Okay, so I'm gonna, like, get inside the Jefferson Memorial. Maybe clear out, it, clear it out a little bit. And then I think I'm gonna... Call it capiche on uh, on Fallout for tonight. Then move on to Party Manimal. Ooh. Oh no, more. Oh, my radiation level is about to go to sickness. About to get sick. Status sick. I think I've already even explored this men and boat. Where do you think you're going? No, pathfinding. Stay there. Yes. Thank you. Don't want to go chasing after him. We're chasing waterfalls. Shit. I feel like no clipping up here would be cheating. So I'm not going to, but I did discover the location, so if I, if I like ran away and fast traveled here, I wouldn't consider that cheating. There. Okay. Simple guy mutants, no problem. Jefferson Memorial. Sheesh. Oh. Oh, I think that's a turret system. Rip. Rip.
Okay, let's just hack into this thing. Positions. <laughs> uh, cool. Parameter. Nice. I don't know why I found that so funny. Okay, whatever. It's fine. Okay, bye. This guy's really shy. Oh, hi. Sorry you were stuck in the wall like that. Oh, God. Oh, I called the ground the wall. It's going to be a lot less harder than I thought it would be. This little gauntlet. In fact, there's no overlords really helps out. Because that's the only thing that can withstand a crit from this thing. Are the super mutant overlords. Yoink. Sproink. I'm gonna... Deactivate this one for now, because I think I can use this later. There. I think it will be useful to have that accessible. This location changes over time. Uh, this location that I'm currently looting definitely turns into something else later on. Spatula. My trusty spatula. Drop. Okay. <laughs> this pipe in the way. That's fine. You could just like, you know, like, like imagine sitting here. You could just like rest your, your right arm <laughs> conveniently on the pipe. And, uh, just like, you know, lean over and not be on your smartphone. Like, you know, yep. It probably wouldn't be as annoying as I thought it would be. Hug the pipe while you're peeing really hard. <laughs> Aw. For support. Sure, everyone would write, like, words of affirmation on graffiti on the pipe. Like, you can do it. <laughs> We're here for you. <laughs> Sub basement, lots of notes in there. Oh, this place. Manhole. Inappropriate. Saving. Because there's one last place I didn't uh, ex explore yet. Okay, great. Nothing. Fuck. Oh my. Look at all that geometry. tapes okay I guess I wasn't sneaking or whatever they spotted me da, 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 da. what happened
Or is this other mutant? Hello. Interesting. Hello, Jefferson. Are you the, <laughs> the mutant? No, he's right here. Okay. Oh, it's an overlord. Nice. Everyone's favorite. Good. Wow. Flung them back. It is nice that they usually contain many nukes, though. Cool. Where were we? Right. Uh, Project Purity. Five, eight, ten. And allows you to put an additional filtration chemical. What happens if I punch in the code now? Well, I kind of did this out of order, but that's fine. I kind of wanted to do this. I wanted to get these notes so I could, like, have them in order in my notes. My notes and undertones. Switch in here. Cool. Love that. Okay. <laughs> ah, I'm going back to do it. What I was doing. Like an old married couple. Here it is. This is the room you were born in. In this game. That's the same layout. Supposedly. I just trash up this room. Okay. I have a lot of notes to listen to before the end of the stream. So get excited for that, but I'll, I'll probably end it on these notes. I think these notes tell me that he's like going to the, the like the simulator place. The vault to like if I were to guess, get a geck. I mean that's the not a rank. Nice. This game is all about getting Gex to to terraform or whatever. The Garden of Eden creation kit, you know. The Gek. Well, I'd prefer getting a Gecko. A small little lizard friend. Oh, Overlord. He'll come back to him. He's like, no threat. Yeah, don't come back to him. When I'm hidden. Loot. Rare times, I won't just clear out a... Toolbox to get the 
to get the stuff out of it. For future looking's sake. What is over here? Flood. Can't use this now. No, uh uh, you're not that far in the main mission. What do you think you're doing? Fuck it. Can't resist it. Oh. Better days. Happy days. One. Two, three. Yep. Jesus. This is Lore Central, folks. I asked for this, so. So that's that. Frankly. You're cute. Ass gotten. Still that overlord somewhere. Oh, there's like fuses you have to replace here. Part of a main quest. I think I forgot where you get the fuses though. That's fine. Come across that later on. Poor guy. Only if I could have had a say in that. Definitely would not have attacked him. Anyway. Wow. Goodbye. He's not dead yet. Come on. Fire damage. Never gonna give me one. I like the zappy damage. The zappy damage actually most of the time ended up killing the person. If I just let them like zap away for a bit. That's okay. Okay. Love TCL. I'll, uh, I'll read all the notes next to the pissing pipe, and then we'll call it a night on Fallout. So get ready to see, uh, this image for a while. Oh, where are my lucky shades while I'm here? I got this. Just want to get a good thumbnail. Just a, just a, a nice YouTuber thumbnail. Uh huh. There we go. <laughs> Jeez. Okay, so So we were at like 5. So the these uh Let's see here. I had I had the tab open. Um Pure, Project Purity Journal Entry 7 and 8. I am at a loss. My beloved wife is gone. Oh. In her place is my son, small and helpless. 
As much as this place means to me, as much as it meant to Catherine, this is no place for an infant. Aww. Especially an infant without his mother. No. It's time to go. The project was in trouble before. Both Sipping a big smart water. Externally, progress has come to a halt. Both because our recalculations have gotten us nowhere, and because the mutant attacks occur several times a day. I Am. regret that it has come to this. I know that if I leave, our work may come to an end. Madison has never been on the best of terms with the Brotherhood. Aside from Scribe Rothschild, Rothschild. none of them. Zephyroth. She's the one dealing with them. Who knows what will happen? It breaks my heart to go. But I must put the needs of my child before my own. Oh, wow. Okay, that's that for all these. So, here I am, back where it all began. Project Purity. God, we wanted to change the world. We really thought the waters of life could be a reality. And that's why this is a momentous occasion. Because even after 19 years, I still believe it. Project Purity can and will be operational. This is just the beginning. Ooh, it really is. I mean, we got like five more of these to go through. Six, seven. This is day two of my attempt to resurrect this project. I've got one of the portable fusion generators up and running, but it's just enough to power the emergency lighting and a couple of other systems. That will serve for now, but I need help powering up the mainframe. Time to visit Madison at Rivet City. Oh. I spoke with Dr. Lee Madison at Rivet City. It went about as well as I expected. That is to say, she thinks I'm completely mad. How can I blame her? She's got her own life, her own team, and is making real, tangible scientific progress. And here I come again, the very paragon of failure and false promises. But the reality is, I need Madison and whatever scientific team she may have assembled. I can't do this myself. Project Purity is bigger than me. It always was. And without Catherine, God. I can't let this die. Not again. Not like this. I'm sorry for the lack of subway surfers around the corners, by the way. I, I'm I'm having a good time listening to all these, but I understand if it's an endurance test and at this volume <laughs> for the listener. Maybe I can increase the volume on that. Let's let's try that. Try doing this earlier. Um. Oops. Let's put voice and music and radio all the way up. Even in Vault 101, my work on Project Purity never really stopped. And that's a little so louder. After we arrived, my nightly routine included sneaking into the restricted areas, searching for, I don't know, whatever I could find. It was a Voltec facility, after all. The place was built with some of the most advanced technology this country has way more music built. now. Those excursions never turned up anything particularly useful. So, one night after half a bottle of Was this music always in the game and I just had this low? Office. It was easy enough to hack his console, gain access to the restricted files. Most of it was garbage. Propaganda, spy reports, just plain rambling bullshit, really. But there was one thing, one name that stood out amongst all the others. Dr. Stanislaus Braun. Uh-oh. I knew of Braun's work, of course. He was a celebrity in his day. Voltex sorcerer scientist, leaving his peers in awe of his technological research. What's with this trumpet music I've never heard until now? I was in Vault 101 that night in the overseer's office. I first learned of Braun's involvement in Voltex's social preservation program and his work on something called Gek, the Garden of Eden creation kit. Wow. Eight. To be honest, the Gek sounded like pure fantasy, even for someone of Braun's capabilities. It was nothing short of a miracle. A terraforming module capable of producing life from complete lifelessness. But not only was this thing a reality, 
it was actually distributed to several vaults to be used after an atomic war. Vault 101 was, sadly, not on that list. I did some digging and discovered Braun's name on the reservation list for a Vault 112. Ah. I'm no slouch, but this man... I'm no slouch. ...actually succeeded where I failed. Does his collected knowledge remain within the halls of Vault 112? Journals, hollow tapes, computer records, maybe even experiments. If I could get were most the Liam Neeson budget went, I think. Braun's genius, Project Purity would become a reality. I'm off to Vault 112 to search for anything of Braun's that oh. might help me get this purifier up and running. All I know is that it's west of some place called Evergreen Mills. Been there. And it's well hidden in some sort of garage. But I'll find it. I have to. It's so close. But that's the story of Project Purity, isn't it? <laughs> An eternity of almost theirs. Let's see if Braun has the missing puzzle piece. Let me, uh... Okay, this music's been neat. This, this trumpeting. I'll put you here. I feel like there's a reason that's been low this whole time. I don't know. But sure, we'll have that real low now. As like an Easter egg for anyone who can hear it now. Uh, better day days. The magic test was inconclusive, but Madison and I are convinced it's a problem with the secondary filtration system. We're going to recalibrate the equipment and try again tomorrow, so that... James, please. Hmm. I'm trying to work. Now's not the time. Horny. So that's the next step. Assuming we get the results we need, we'll move on to... James! I am Nisa, you horny dog. I need to finish these notes. <laughs> we'll move on to diagnosing the issues with the radiation dampeners. That should... Ow! James! <laughs> now? We really shouldn't. <laughs> Okay, for some reason, I am now thinking, did did the voice actress from uh, actor from Moira, like and Madison I see here, whoever uh my whoever my mom was, like did did she also do the voice for like uh fuck, I've just forgot her name. But in Neon Genesis Evangelion, the the like English dub, it sounds like she did the voice for uh the lady in that mits i want it's not mitsua but it's uh it starts with an m like a mitt i think um but it's like the the guardian of like shinji and uh the people in that group she has like purple hair just sounds very similar uh well here we are again project purity and me it's been close to 20 years since my last entry. I guess I forgot to I listen to this one. This behind to make a life for my son. We've spent that time in the Vault 101, tucked away from the rest of the world. It wasn't perfect, but it was safe. And that's all I could have hoped for. Now, my son is a grown man. Handsome, intelligent, confident. Just like his old man. And as hard as it was to admit it, he doesn't need his daddy anymore. I think Catherine was the name. Not, not, uh, Madison. Cop, uh, I'm looking up, uh, <clears throat> Karen Carbone. Seeing if, uh, some other voice works. Oh. Doesn't seem like she did any anime voice work, so never mind. Anyway, okay. Oh wow, that was a lot of uh, a lot of journal entries. Dang. Did a lot of squatting over this toilet. Um. Yeah, so. <laughs> Gain access to Vault 112. Well, good thing I know exactly where it is. 
Uh, I'm gonna teleport there and then call it a, a skedaddle. But maybe I should clear out my inventory. That that'd be the smart move, I think. Up uh, there. Yep. Wow. There's just a bit of music soundtrack playing this whole time that's been so quiet. Hey. I should have I should have known. I feel a little embarrassed. I just discovered it after like 18 episodes. Yay! Oh, welcome back, Riku. You had a bath. How was it? How stinky are you now? Looking for your fix? Let's see nice. what the good doctor has in his magic bag, shall we? Don't like how he said that. I save that human flesh for my collection. Quote. Whoa, just two caps under. Nice. Another is Tell me what you need, and maybe I've got your fit. Whoa. There's so much junk in my pockets. Riku, I just realized I there's been music in this game this whole Where's time that I've been playing. Thing? Oh, I feel very cozy and shiny. Only good stanky, yeah. But I forgot that I, I had the music played down the whole time, so there's like the ambient music I haven't been listening to this whole time. Which I could have been. That's like, you know, I'm able to listen to. That's not uh, tied to the radios. So, oops. Yeah, like trumpet noises and stuff. Like, here, I'll give you a taste. I don't know if you can hear it, but there's like... There's like orchestral music playing now. I'll leave it high for now and like, you know, let that play out for the future episodes. Yeah, I'm pretty close to calling it a night in Fallout. And then moving on to Party Manimal. Oh, the, yeah, the background music. Yep. So many cameras I need to turn in someday. I'll put these for safekeeping for now. Okay. Cool. The rake is for my rake collection. Riku. Obviously. Nah, th yeah, but the rake is not for, uh... It's not for any quest like that. It's just for my collections. My silly little collection.
How many caps do I have? Nice. <laughs> Damn, my bad. It's okay, Riku. I'll forgive you this time. Missing one, two, three, f only four of the uh, four of the skill ones, three of the specials. I know the the luck special is in the Arlington Cemetery House. <clears throat> I'm happy I got the uh, the melee one this episode. Yeah, only a handful left. Poor guy. Got a lot of fun stuff done to this episode. It was the lightest my guy's ever been. I'm pretty freed of a lot of my junk. Sinful, sinful chunk. I need to put away one of these guns, though, I feel. Maybe the Sydney's Ultra. It's fun having a clip that's a magazine that's 50, but... I do have this one that's 36 now. It's worth more. Or, uh, it has more damage, supposedly. I don't know. I think I might put away Sydney's. It is it is kind of weaker. And it's harder to find 10mm assault rifles. Or SMGs. I think I'm happier with this. This setup. I'm just trying to min-max my weight now that you mentioned it. It's like I don't need buff out. But, well, no, buff out's nice. Mentats, though, I really don't need, but it's not like these are weights. And I get in these clear up if I get ton of them. Try being kind of lame since it's scatter. It is it is kind of lame that scatter, is he right? But I get a lot of use out of it. I have been, at least. Riku smell good. It sucks how heavy it is, though, too. It does use three times the damage, or three times the ammo. This uh, assault rifle is going to be so useful. Oh, I want to get rid of the lucky, lucky shades. Damn it, I just don't want to stop playing. It's so fun. Get to play it tomorrow or another time. Now time to play less than an hour of party animals. Because I spent 20 minutes setting up for the next episode here. Speaking of which... Oh god. Ha! I just escaped them. Who would win this fight? Oh, these two are friends. That's cute. That's sad. Oh. How cute. Should probably have gone to Girder Shade actually. I think that's a more safer place to load into. Oh god. Someone in the distance. Yep. Party raccoon. Okay. We'll save here and pick up with the main quest. Finally. Gotta get those animal friend perk. Oh yeah. I'd love to invest in animal friend perks. That'd be fun because I can do that now. And I'm giving myself that ability. <laughs> Dang. 
all this going on. Wow. Thanks for hanging for Fallout. See you in the next one.